Alrighty, stream should be live. Just gotta wait for YouTube to do its thing. And I don't know why Steam decided to minimize on me. But uh, we're live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And I just minimized my fucking <laughs> thingy over here. But uh, we're live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Black Ops 2 Zombies Reverse Rainbow Perk Challenge. Now, what this is, is you have to get the perks in the rainbow order, but it has to be reversed. And this challenge, on paper, sounds very easy, but this challenge is no joke. Wait, this is, this is a very difficult challenge. But, uh, oh, is that, isn't, isn't your name Ethan? Yeah, uh, Nina, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while. But, uh, no worries, it's either something with Miracle or technical issues that makes them delayed. Not being mean. Oh. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, this challenge is, we're gonna be doing it on Origins, just because this is the one that everybody does it on. And the whole point, like I said, is we want to get all of the perks, but we have to get it in reverse order in the, the colors of the rainbow. And this challenge is very difficult because you have to base, because the last perk you get is Jug. And you know, in Black Ops 2, if you take two hits, you're done. So, <laughs> it's pretty bad, but uh, it is, good, it is good to have you guys in though, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, how you been? I've been okay. Uh, just kind of stressed and tired, but I've been okay. But uh, no, he just had, had had info stolen in this game. Oh no, that's uh, that's Black Ops 3. But uh, 2FA slapped him in the face. Or 2FA. Uh, can I not skip this? I thought you could skip the fucking cutscene. You gotta fucking love PC. This game likes to fuck up sometimes, but uh, may God bless your soul. This is my first go at doing this challenge, but what's up, John Bennett? How you doing? And of course, I'm playing this fucking Nikolai. Jesus I oh, I thought this was... No, this is uh, Black Ops uh, 2. If this was Black Ops 3, this challenge would be too easy. Because in Black Ops 3, you can take three hits. In uh, Black Ops 2, you can only take two. And that's what makes this challenge so hard. Is that the last perk you get is Jug. And, you know, at any point, if I take two hits, even with seven perks, I'm done. I, I have to redo it. Unless I have quick revive, that is. But also, who is Nina? I haven't watched in a while. Uh, Nina is Ethan. Uh, he, he's been a viewer of mine for quite some time, actually. I actually haven't seen him in a minute, though. But it's uh, good to have him in. Oh, yeah, we're off to a great start, aren't we? I probably should have used a controller for this. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. So the first priority is we want to get a staff built, because that, uh, that Panzer on round 8, I, I do not want to deal with him with uh, just a gun. So I gotta be, I gotta be ready. But uh, you, you're doing it. Starting off, or, or getting set up, then going for it, like just getting jug and all the dig sites. I think what I'm going to work on first is getting all the dig sites first, and I want to get the ice staff. So I'm going to wait until it starts snowing because you can get a free zombie blood if you use the ice staff. So I think I'm going to try to get the ice staff first, and then we'll get the dig sites. Because to get the gold shovel, you have to get 30, I think, 30 dig sites. So yeah, this this challenge is tough because, the, like I said, the last perk you get is jug. So. Now, they also have the Rainbow Perk Challenge, which is, is way easier. <laughs> nice! We're already fucking dead. <laughs> Yo, we did it, guys. No, I'm joking. We fucking died on round two. <laughs> oh, shit. I just earned 10 pounds. We got snowed in. I got paid five, five pounds to jump out my window like a Skyrim character. And another five pounds for my sister doing a swimsuit. That that snow frees the shit out of me. So that's great. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hey, money is money, right? Yeah, we're definitely going to try that again. Sorry about that. That's how you don't play zombies. Because I was debating, I'm like, should I use a controller for this? I feel like I should use a controller. It's going to be a long stream. I actually, it probably, knowing me, because I suck at this game. <laughs> but uh, BO2 Zombies is Dark Souls. God. Yeah, BO2 Zombies is hard. But uh, what's up, Liam? How you doing, man? I actually almost didn't recognize you because of your uh, your uh, profile picture. But uh, yeah, I felt like I had hypothermia. Yeah, yeah, round two. Yeah, that's pathetic. I cannot play this game. <laughs> no, we got it. We got it. It's okay. I got distracted. That's all. Yeah, but uh, with the uh, with the rainbow perk challenge, like just the regular rainbow perk, it's a lot easier because you start with jug. So, you know, you can take more than two hits. Pro tip: if you use the if you use the charge ice stab and shoot them, plot a claymore. They did. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that glitch. Yeah, they patched it in the Chronicles version too. I remember they they patched a lot of glitches from uh, Bo2. Which is really a pain in the ass, because some of them made the easter egg so much more tolerable. Because I'm going to be honest, I hate the easter egg in this map. I mean, at least on Black Ops 2, that is. Like on BO3, it's not too bad. But on the uh, the original one, it's it's a pain in the ass. So you're killing zombies, I'm sniping targets. Yeah, pretty much. 
Because I'm sniping bitches. Alright, I'm gonna go out. The zombie shouldn't fuck with you. You have 10 million power, monkey. I mean, maybe I should. No, no. But uh, the zombie should... Oh, wait, no, I just read that comment. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll see Cameron tonight. I'm not sure, though. Alright, come on. Come on, give me the... Get, get, I never get this foot. I always get the other one. But a uh, state of survival. Come on, give me this foot over here. Play free today. Why does that sound so familiar? Is that, is that like a free-to-play game? I don't know. It sounds like some kind of free-to-play. What up? Uh... Oh, wait. Did I get this foot? Nope. I didn't get it. Fuck, dude. I never get that foot, ever. I never get that foot. But, uh, you got fast restore on? Actually, no, I don't. Because, uh... I don't, I don't even think Black Ops 2 has that. But a zombie game? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Of course, it, it's always on that side. I never get... I never get the right foot. Or what would be the left foot on my side. Alright, did I get that shield piece? Nutty, nutty do Spanish splinter. Huh? Oh shit. No, don't you dare. That, that two hit system, dude, I swear to god, it fucks me over every time, I swear. Shit. I gotta remember, on PC, knifing is a lot more dangerous. With a keyboard. Dude! Are you fucking for real? I knew this challenge was gonna be bad, but holy fuck, I can't even get past the f second round. <laughs> Dude. Are you actually for real? What the fu- I mean, I knew it was gonna be bad, but Jesus criminy, I didn't know I was- I, Like, I can't even get to the No Man's Land, are you kidding me? But, uh, they got it on PC, but you gotta go into the notes and add stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. I don't have that. But, uh, Nutty, take a chill pill. No, no, I'm not- I'm not doing that. I'm gonna try to have fun with this challenge. I'm not gonna take it too seriously. Cause this is actually just a community challenge. If you guys have heard of the Smith Plays, he's a zombies YouTuber. He actually created this challenge. And th this is like really old. This is an old challenge. But I'm not gonna take it too seriously, I promise. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I can't fucking do this shit. The only time I'm gonna do that is if I get really far and I die. But I don't think so. I had to warm my game volume to, to five to hear you properly. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Hey, it happens, my dude. No, I'm joking. <laughs> actually, better yet, I can actually turn that up for you. Because for some reason, both Black Ops 2 and 3, they have this problem where they, they mess with the microphone. I don't know why. If you if you beat this, I'll buy you GTA 7. Bet. I got you. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I did this Easter egg the other day on Black Ops 3. Except I didn't die on round 2. Just, you know, the, uh, the 3 hit system. Look, I'm sorry, but I hate the I hate the two hit system. I think it's so annoying. I mean, it's like like it's like two slaps and I'm done. Come on now, that's so stupid. Like like I mean, I get it. You know, that's the point of the game. But people like to shit on the three hit system. But I think it's a lot more rational than the uh, fucking two hit system. Damn, you'll be waiting a whole century for it, nutty. Yeah, yeah, I will be for GTA 7. It's like I got my voucher code, nutty in 2080. It's like, I still got my voucher code. I'm waiting for the game to come out. Alright, did I get this foot? Come on. Even if I did, I mean, I'm not really trying to go for the wind staff, so I guess it's not really that serious. Alright, am I going to get past round two? Guys, are we going to get past round two? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh shit, I actually got this foot. No. Don't you dare. Hold up. Alright, hold on, guys. Got it. Woohoo! We did it! We got inside of the robot! That was the plan last time, but I didn't get the correct foot. This game has a foot fetish. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, Black, Op Black Ops 2 on PC has a foot fetish. Jesus. But I do hope you guys are doing good. It's good to be back. Uh, you guys, if you guys don't know, I mean, I made a post about it earlier. But uh, the reason I haven't been able to stream is because uh, your boy got a community strike on his channel because I s decided to show some of that GTA 6 footage. And I got... Like, I got taken down almost immediately. Like, it was it was insane. But I watched a birthday stream, saw me and Cameron having an argument on smoking a, a vape in the bathroom. Of course, we argue about that. Oh, yeah, that I remember that stream. But I'll be 2,987, then it will drop the next box. We'll finally buy a Oh, God. Yo, you remember back in the... I think it was the Xbox 360 days. Uh, I think they actually did have Call of Duty. Like, they got the DLCs first and shit. Strike, copyright claim. Yeah, I got booted off. Like, legitimately, I wasn't able to do anything. But then again, though, I, I I knew what I was getting myself into. Well, guys, it's looking like I'm going to get past round two. Finally. 
Look, if I can at least get a gun, I'll be okay. Oh shit. But uh, hold on one second, guys. I'll have to, I have to focus on this. No. I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good. I'm gonna go get that blister from the wall. But uh, I'm banging targets with pressure propelled iron through a rifle. It seems that me saying the proper messages, it doesn't go through. Oh yeah, YouTube's filters. I hate that shit. It's so annoying. It's like, oh, you said poop. I'm not gonna let it go through. So what the fuck? But I got a copyright strip for playing the... Yeah, dude, me too. With uh, with ZNS, that happened to me. Like, it was like, it was like oh, this is property of Activision. It's like, what do you want me to do? I can't skip it unless it lets me. Wait, it's so stupid. I don't get it. But, uh, woo! Don't forget the MP40 by the box. What is it? Oh, yeah, the MP40's over there. I'm gonna, I, I always wait until I go into No Man's Land to get that. Holy shit, guys. It's a new record. We got to round three. <laughs> Holy shit, I guess, I guess playing as Nikolai wasn't... The uh, best course of action, even though I can't choose who I play as. Alright, so to get the golden shovel, we have to get 30 dig sites dug up, so... Okay. Oh shit, nuke. Oh god. <laughs> that could have been... Can you get a self-revive drink or is that Black Ops 3? You can get... Like, I can get quick revive. But here's the thing, I can't get it until I get unt to the uh, color blue on the uh, rainbow chart. So, actually, wait a minute, I actually wrote down the uh, order of perks I have to get, and Quick Revive is my third perk. So, it goes PhD, Electric Cherry, Quick Revive, Mule Kick, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, Double Tap, and Jug. That's the order of perks we have to get. And like I said, the thing that makes this challenge so difficult is that you can't get Jug until the very last perk slot, and, you know, like I said, with that two-hit system, it, it's, it's not going to go very well. But, uh, Sniper is blacklisted on YouTube. That is so childish, dude. That shit pisses me off. It's like, oh, you, you said the name of a gun. How dare you? Like, I mean, like, what do you want me to say? Like, a, a piece of wood that shoots metal projectiles? <laughs> Bro, little Johnny believed I could beat the, the egg if I was Takio. Is that so? Really? Yeah, see, I was playing a public match the other day on this game. Like, on uh, Origins. And there was a guy, he kept going down. He'd be like, oh, help me, help me, I'm gonna die. He's like, I'm only dying because Richtofen is a weak character. No. Like, you're dying because you suck at the game. It has nothing to do with the character you play. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you... It, like, it doesn't really matter who you play as. You okay? Oh, okay. Like, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who you play as. Like, it's... Like, it, it, it's literally not even... Like, it, it, they all play the same. It doesn't make a difference. But if I was anyone else, I couldn't get past round 10. I mean, I guess Takio is just your good luck charm. I guess. Alright, so, for the first few perks, we can get through the, uh, Wonder Fizz. So, I'm gonna try to get PhD as early as possible. Oh my god, I wanna get Jug, I can't get it though, that's the last perk I can get. Oh shit, Bro Nutty can say the n-word, he is black and can say that and he's fine, but... Sees that... Sees that he says a gun name and bang has been striked in the... Fucking is it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's lopsided. It doesn't make any sense. Like, like, I remember once... I put something, I think it was, I forget it was in Cameron's chat, I think, and I put something like necrophiliac and it didn't go through, I'm like, come on, dude, like, that's so annoying, like, if I'm trying to say something, or I think I put orgy, like, because th th these guys were shit-talking him on The Last of Us multiplayer, and I'm like, oh, those guys are having a gay orgy, and then he, they were like, oh, yeah, it's not gonna go through, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like come on, dude, but uh, with Takio, I made it to round 100, really, I feel like I'm the only person in the zombies community that's never reached 100, like, ever. I think the highest I got was, like, 58, I think, before I gave up. It wasn't because I died or anything, it's just because I got bored. Like, like, here's my problem with zombies, like, it's fun, but then, after you get to, like, round 30, it starts to get boring. I shoot a person in the head, the head split in half. Oh, damn. Kind of reminds me of Sniper Elite. Oh, shit. Come on, man. I'm trying to hit these quick scoping skills. Jeez. Yeah, that's zombie boy. Alright, so, wait, how much is the, uh, Wonder Fizz? I think it's... I actually don't know. Jeff didn't man... didn't man died in the 80s and... Re See, he told me he got the round 100 on there. I don't know. Because Revelations is, like, the the polar opposite of, like, the earlier zombie maps. Because <laughs> in, uh, in Revelations, that's, like, one of the easiest maps ever. If not the easiest. Like, you've got, like, three overpowered weapons. You can get perma perks. Like, it's ridiculously easy. Even without gobble gums. And if you do have gobble gums, there's no point. Like, there's no challenge. This game does have bullet camp. Does it? I think I, I think I remember that. 
but uh, maybe he thought. Oh, uh, dude, I need to get that MP40 like now. Seriously, <laughs> I don't trust myself. But uh, maybe he did. He did thought he quit. Oh, uh, we, yeah, he told me he uh, he got to round 100. Well, but I've been playing this map for many years now, and I gotta say it's one of my favorites. But at the same time, I can't stand this map though, because the robots are really annoying, and the Panzer. Oh my god, I hate the Panzer. Well, he's just. He just ruins everything. He's just, like, if you don't have Jug, I mean, you can kill him, but it's... You, you have to keep your distance at all time. EU console POV, I'm leaving set, set of PC player. Honestly, the POV never made it different. I mean, I'm playing on maximum FOV right now. And, uh, I think with Plutonium, you can actually increase it even more. But, it really isn't anything, like... I, I, I never really saw the point of it. I mean, you can obviously see more, but it's... I mean, I don't, like, I don't understand what makes it so superior. Because I have this uh, map on console, too. And to be honest, I like to play COD with a uh, keyboard and mouse more. Because it's a lot easier to shoot. I mean, like, with an analog stick, you can obviously shoot good. But like with a mouse, you're going to have much superior aim. So, yeah. Okay. Let's kill that zombie. I missed out on a max ammo back there. But, I mean, is it really needed on this round? I don't really need it. Really don't need it. Got you. I'm hitting them quick scope kills, baby. But yeah, if you guys want to play this map without paying any money, just uh, j just just download Plutonium. Just give me one of these. And not to mention, Plutonium also has dedicated servers, so it's a, it, like more people play on Plutonium than they do on the uh, actual servers. <gasps> no, dude. If a headless zombie really would have killed me, I would have been. F That's called dumb luck, right there. It's called luck, and it is going to run out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh, fe fellas, like, you can move easier with a keyboard. You think so? I think it's actually easier to move with a, uh, like a keyboard and mouse. Because with, uh, with a, with a keyboard and mouse, it's just, I don't know, I mean, I meant, uh, controller stick, that's what I meant to say. Not a keyboard and mouse. Of course. And it started raining, god damn it. Ideally, I want to have a staff before the Panzer, though. Yeah, wow, so many memories. Yeah, dude, I love this map. I've been playing it for years, my dude. But what's up, Gary? How you doing, man? I actually watched your newest video with, uh, I think it was The Forest, I think. That was, uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So we're almost there, guys. No, I'm joking. Not even close. I need to hit the Wonder Fizz, though, like ASAP, so I can get that. With controller, it feels, feels more stiff compared to... Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, because with the... With the Analog stick, it's not as precise as a mouse. So it's not, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to move. But I see what you mean. I mean, because most of the time when I play games on PC, I can handle it with keyboard and mouse. But, like, there's times where it's like I need to have a controller. I just, I can't play with a keyboard. Like, an instance of that would be, like, some of the GTA games I need a keyboard. Oh, shit. This might be the end. Fuck. Not looking good. Oh, my God. That's what you call clutch right there, boys. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, oh, yeah, I kind of blew ball to audience. Oh, God. It's like, this is how you do it. It's like, psych. Oh, shit. Okay. But uh, have you heard that PS or PlayStation is partnering up with Discord? You can I yeah, I actually saw that. Yeah. I probably won't use it. To be honest, I can't even remember the last time I was in a PlayStation party with people. Like, I don't know. I just, like, I don't really play online that much. But, uh, craft the shield. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I gotta find the pieces. Shit, dude. I remember when I got this map back when it came out. And I was... When the Panzer first spawned in, I was like, what the fuck is that? But, uh, you can get a free MG fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. With the, uh, with the Maxis drone. With the discs, yeah. I got banned in an online game. I mean, honestly, I'm not even really surprised by that, to be honest. I mean, because... Don't you get banned a lot? Jeez. Okay. So, what was... Oh, yeah, we need to hit the, uh, Wonder Fizz. Dude... <sighs> I want to get Jug so bad, I just, I, I can't, because then that, that, that pretty much ruins the challenge then. Unless we did the Rainbow Perk challenge. If that were the case, then I'd be okay. But we're doing the reverse. This is way worse than the the standard challenge, so. Alright, come on, give me PhD, first hit. PhD, first hit. Aw, oh, damn, I got dead shot. Shit. Is that even a part of the thing? But I believe it. Aw, oh, fuck. So, guys, we didn't get PhD Flopper. That's the first perk we need to get. I have a uh, cheat sheet down here. I'm trying to look. But is... Is Deadshot even a part of the fucking rainbow, though? I don't know. And they said if we can afford a 
Oh wait, no, nah, listen, kids were being toxic. This and Shadows of Evil are my, my maps needs. Any tips, I'm your guy. Oh yeah, Shadows of Evil was an awesome map, I love that map. But uh, and they said if we can afford a $4,000 fursuit, then we can afford a $1,200 gun. And I said, good, you should use it on yourself an instant bit. Holy shit, dude. Have mercy. <laughs> Holy fuck. But, uh, man, gonna do the reverse, then the rainbow challenge. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna do the standard rainbow challenge. No, I'm not. I'm, we're, we're doing reverse, believe me. We're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pussy out of this. We're not gonna pussy foot around, no, Joe. But this challenge is literal suicide. Like, you gotta have balls to do something like this. Especially on a game like this where, if, like, two hits are done. Like, this is... Shit. Alright, come on. Give me something good. Okay. Dude, it gives me dead shot again. Come on. And see, that's the thing. Like, it's like, it gets worse because more and more rounds progress. Shit. I gotta get a staff. Okay, the robot's coming this way. Shit, shit, shit. But uh, if you beat this, you can have little Rodriguez? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, if you beat this, you can have little Rodriguez at the end. I'm just... <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, okay, shit, I have to, which, which foot is open? I have to, I can't fucking, okay, it's this foot. This game has a foot fetish confirmed. You have to go inside of its foot. Shit. Okay. Hey, guys, we did it. We got inside the robot. One nice thing about the game I'm playing, it's a PS5 game, so it has a trigger effect. Oh, yeah, the uh, DualSense thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, because, uh, like, I like the DualSense controller. But my biggest problem with it is that it, it just, it dies way too fast. Like, it, it's like as soon as you fucking unplug it, it's like, oh, you plug it back in, it's dead. It's fucking dead. But, uh, foot finish confirmed, yeah, dude. Th this game has a serious problem with feet, but, uh, what's up, VGPS? How you doing, man? It's good to have you in, man. I actually haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing good, though. I'm literally torturing myself with this. Like, this, this challenge is a pain in the ass. A serious pain in the ass, but... I'm a masochist, so let's fucking do it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> But, uh, wait, did I ever tell you about Little Rodriguez? Uh, n no, you've, you've never told me about Little Rodriguez. <laughs> I actually have no idea who that is. Shit. Okay, watch out. Dude, I swear to God, this game gives me motion sickness. Like, what, is that the last zombie? They're, zo they're running already? Dude, it's round six. Damn, mud slow See, kids, th <laughs> that is how you don't play zombies. Like, what you just saw... Is not how you play zombies. Like, that is... Like, the way I just dived into that fucking horde of zombies... That's, that's not how you play this. Don't play how Robbie plays. Play how Mr. T. Lexify plays. Play how the other zombie YouTubers that actually know what the fuck they're doing. Play like them. Not like me. Working on cartoons now on my new page. Very time. Get super... Oh, yeah, the, uh, the animation you made it was actually really good. Like I said, I've tried to do a few things with animation. And I was never good with it. Like, it was, it was too difficult for me. Yeah, I don't want to hit that nuke. I need to get the Wonder Fizz. And I also need to get the church open so I can get the Windstaff piece. It's not looking good, boys, but I clutch. Yeah, dude, that was... That was scary. <laughs> oh, shit. But uh, thanks, it's a bit rough, but I'm gradually getting better. Yeah, you know, with time, it, it gets easier, yeah. I'm actually going to take this. I shouldn't have traded in my pistol, though. Shit. Hey, look at that. That's perfect. Damn, man, waggling for his life. Yeah, like, I'm struggling. We're, we're in the early stages. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the struggle stage. The struggle stage. Oh, boy. Alright, so since we have a little bit of points, I think I'm going to go ahead and open up the church. So that way, we can get the other robot and get his sexy feet to come through. <laughs> we can get in his foot. What? I told you this game has a foot fetish. Of course, it's that robot. Of course. Because this game just fucking loves me, right? Okay, so wait, wait, no, we need to hit the, uh, Wonder Fizz. We need to get PhD. But see, then again, though, like, PhD on this round is, is useless. Like, it's so useless. I don't have any kind of explosives. There's no, there's nowhere to dolphin dive off of. Like, it, it, like, that perk is about as useless as having no perks. Oh, I don't have enough points. Shit. No, what are you doing? I don't think so, buddy. Not today. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this robot to come through. You okay? Okay. Alright, so what I think we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna wait for the church robot. Hopefully the RNG doesn't fuck me, and I can actually get his foot on this side, because I have to open up the other door if, it, if I don't get the other foot. 
but it clamors to show the pants around it. Do they? Huh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. I've been playing this map since pretty much it came since it pretty much came out, and I still have a hard time with it. Like the Easter egg on this map is not solo friendly at all. Because not only do you have to do a shitload of steps that take way too long, you have to get all of the staffs by yourself and upgrade all of them. Like, if, if you guys are zombie players, you know how fucking tedious that can be. Like, that's why I like Derizon Drac. Because in Derizon Drac on Black Ops 3, you only need one bow. You know, you only need one bow to do the Easter egg. That is if you're playing online. If you, if you do local, you have to do all four. Which I never understood that. If you hit him with the boot, they blow up his helmet and just equip or two. Oh, okay. The only thing that screws me with the Panzer is his claw, though. He, he, always, he always gets me before I can do anything. Oh, man. The waiting game. I love this. At least I got past round two, right? At least we got past round two. Oh, come on. Can I get 50 more points? So that way it's a guarantee to get the, the staff piece? Because if I can get the staff piece... Then I can get the wind staff, so that way I won't be ill prepared for the uh, the Panzer. Okay. Oh, perfect! It gave me fifty points. You can't say racist in YouTube comments. Can you not really, really? Oh my God! <laughs> YouTube, YouTube needs to grow up. YouTube is like a little child that goes, mm, I don't like that word. Delete it right fucking now. <laughs> oh wait, let me that. Oh, okay. Oh wait. Oh, oh, dude, I actually didn't even catch that. Holy shit! <laughs> Good catch. Good catch. The Rise of Drag Panzer is way worse than this one. If Fuck the quick skill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those those shock charges, yeah. Oh, my God. I was actually... I went back and watched one of those old streams we did uh, a couple years ago when we played Zombies. And I remember whenever I went down... Because like, we I think we were doing Gorod Krovi, I think, at the time. The Gorod Krovi Easter egg. And uh, I went down inside of the hatchery. And I remember uh, Caleb was trying to find me, and you were like, No, Caleb, you fucking dumbass. I was laughing so <laughs> He's like, Caleb, you fucking dumbass. He's down here. <laughs> oh, God. That was funny as hell. I'm like, damn. Why's he got to be a dumb? Oh, church robot. Shit. I got to wait for this zombie to get out of my way. Shit. And this is why you build the shield, kids. Shit, is this the foot? Is this the fruit by the foot? I can't fucking tell. I can never tell, dude. It's always... Shit. Hold up, VGPS. Yep. Correct foot. So I bought that door for no reason. Careful, the robot's approaching. Fuck it. I'm just gonna kill him. That was a lot of zombie. But I uh, thought about making a cartoon about Nutty Ape raging and turning into a little monkey, but then, but then thought that people who don't know you or your channel may consider it all... Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, that would actually be funny as hell, though. Oh, my God. All right, give me that other piece. Come on, baby. Give me that, give me that wind staff! Miracle, I'm making progress. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to get the ice staff, but with RNG, it's not on my side today, so. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I just gotta get out of here, though. This is a very dangerous zone. And ideally, we want to build... Oh, shit, wait. Mm, we may not be able to build the wind staff today, boys. Uh, because... I just realized I have to open up the excavation site to even get all the, uh, to, to even build the staff. I have to get the gramophone. Shit. Yeah, we may not, we may not be able to build it. <laughs> but, uh, yo, I'm back. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing now? But, uh, is that all three? Th yeah, that's the last one staff piece. Fire staff piece. Oh, well, well, I guess not PC Superior Race. I guess I'm not. Damn. I should probably focus on not getting killed, actually. Because I did this, I did a challenge like this sort of on Kino Der Toten a little bit, like on Black Ops 1, and uh, except the only challenge was that I did no jug, and I think I got to like round 25, I think, without jug. It's really not hard, just as long as you keep your distance. But I started 30 minutes ago, wow, yeah, that's that's crazy, and I don't even have a single perk. So I don't even have a single perk. <laughs> Yo, boys, we're professionals at this shit. The Smith plays ain't got shit on me, dude. Even though he's... Probably fucking done this challenge a hundred times. Oh shit. Okay. Hey Samantha, you can forget me doing the. <gasps> shit. See kids? That's why you pay attention. <laughs> oh my god. Wave 7. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? We're just so good at this game. Shit. No, no, no. I don't like how you're running at me, zombie. I don't like that. 
I don't like this, guys. I'm scared. This is bad. Oh, wait. I have this Remington. I forgot. Shit. Guys, I'm not liking the looks of this. <laughs> this is scaring me. All right, I gotta watch my back. Shit, shit, shit. I'm struggling, guys. We're struggling. <laughs> grenade. Grenade, grenade. Oh, God, you can find them. You can get me out. You can find... Yeah, dude, like, I swear to God. That's my problem with modern zombies. Is that they try to push the Easter egg on the player so much. Like, they just, they try to force it. Like, I mean, I know you obviously, you don't have to do it. But it's so annoying, it's like, oh, like, it's like to even, even get the power on, it's like you have to do this whole quest. Like, Blood of the Dead from Black Ops 4? I didn't even try, dude, I didn't even try that fucking... 10 let off some stick. Dude, I fucking love that movie, Commando, that is, that is an amazing movie. But, uh, this game made me not have game sound for the next five years. Wait, what? Oh, is it because of Samantha? Oh, yeah, she's annoying as hell. I mean, just turn off the, uh, voice, the voice volume, and just keep sound effects on. But, uh, yeah, dude, the Commando, yeah, dude, that's, I, I watched that movie the other day, actually. That's a great movie. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not today, zombie, not today. I know what you're trying to do, and you're trying to fuck my wife up, I'm not gonna let you. Because I'm gonna fuck your wife first. Aw, oh, dude, I don't think I'm gonna have enough for the Panzer. Because... You can get wind, yeah, but I don't have the excavation site open, so it'd be... Well, I can't get the, uh, gramophone. Shit. God damn it, Origins. Or, I mean, Oranges. The, 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 the sequel to this map is called Oranges. <laughs> it's like, hey, you wanna play some Oranges? It's only 1,500. No, it isn't. It's, it's like, I think it's like 2,500, I think. Or like 2,250 or something like that. I mean, I can check. Let me see. Yeah, that shit is 2,250, boy. What you talking about? What you talking about, boy? I think you're mistaken. I really do not like this, though. Because I don't have enough points to open. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, damn, yeah. I think that's actually the most expensive door in Zombies history, I think. I think there's a door that's like 3,000 points yeah, somewhere. It's not It's not on this map, though. It's one of the maps I can't remember. But yeah, the, uh, the Black Ops 4 Zombies, I played a little bit. And Blood of the Dead, I tried to do the Easter Egg one time. And I gave up. Th th that, that Easter egg has far too many steps. Like, way too many steps. And the steps don't make sense either. Like, there's a step where you have to basically know Morse code. It's like, like, like who the fuck just knows Morse code? Like, it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna assume that every zombies player knows fucking Morse code. It's like, <laughs> it's stupid. On Verruchter, Newtown. It, it, wait, you talking about the door? Oh, oh. Okay. How did you... You gotta love how the zombies... Oh, shit! Guys, I have enough for the door! I have enough for the door! Shit! It's like I just go down. It's like, no! <laughs> Guys, I have enough for the door. Okay, alright. It gives me a little reassurance that we at least have a staff. We, have, we at least have a staff before the panzer comes. Okay. Oh, oh. Hmm. This is where legends are made. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking retard then. I know Morse code to play Black Ops 3. Oh shit, really? Well, on Black Ops 4, there's a step on uh, Blood of the Dead, and it's 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 infamous for being difficult. Like, a lot of people, because you have to, it's like you have to do the Morse code shit, and it's like a lot of people find it confusing. And I've I never got that far in the egg to even even attempt that step, but I remember the one step with the bird. I I didn't get past it because it glitched out. Like the the bird stopped spawning. Like like he like I could hear him, but he was invisible. Oh my God. We don't talk about Black Ops 4. Yeah, we just... Like, the, BO4 was... Was so awkward to me. Like, it just... It felt so out of place. I don't know. Something about it just didn't feel right. I can't really describe it. You don't get to walk away. No, no. I know you want to kill me, zombie. <laughs> you like Cold War? Uh, from what I played, it was okay. Um, I don't remember Cold War too much. Uh, all that I remember is in, I think it was Firebase Z, I think. It was, it was just way too confusing. Like, because a, a group of friends, uh, had me play with them. And they're like, oh yeah, you gotta do this, this, and this. And then you gotta fucking, you, you gotta bend your mom over and then fuck her in the ass. And then you gotta do this, this, and then you gotta do that to turn the power on. I'm like, dude. What happened in the days when you just hit a power switch and you just turn the power on that easy? I miss it. Like, 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 zombies just got so complicated for no reason. Like, I get it, you know, you gotta change the formula a little bit. But it just got so over the top. Okay, that's the wind tunnel. Okay. Alright. 
Jesus. Black Ops 4 be outward because it's Black Ops 4. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Black Ops 4 wasn't terrible, but like it was. My last few rounds. Like it, the, the zombies just felt like it was. It was way harder than the other zombie games. But I don't know. <laughs> but uh, whoa, you got to do what to your mom? I, I got a fucker in the ass to complete the Easter egg, dude. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, hello, what's up, Dorian? How you doing, man? Oh shit. But uh, fuck your mom in the ass. How'd you know? Well, see, I went into the game's code. I data mined the game. And then it's like, it, it says fuck mom and ass png dot slash slash, you know, like coding on games does that. But, uh, okay. <sighs> Hopefully this zombie doesn't screw me over. Because I got to get the, uh, the tunnel open. Because I can at least get... <gasps> nope. Nope. We're screwed. Nope. We're screwed. We're screwed. We can't do it. We can't do it. I just remembered something. I just remembered something. Wait, wait. The Windstaff disc is in that door. I don't have the door open. I don't have enough points. <laughs> F in the chat, boys. Panzer comes next round. I'm screwed. If I can get a thousand points... MP5 is still OP. Dude. I just remember, I don't even have the disc for the Windstaff, and it's behind that door. Yep. Can't PNG lose my virginity? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, Fireface E was one of the bad Cold War maps, not gonna lie, but the others are better. Yeah, I never- that's the only one I played, I think. Okay. <laughs> Shit getting real, yeah, it really is. I thought we were good, because I thought I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna build the Windstaff. I don't even have the- I can't- Shit, hold on a second. I'm gonna try to find a dig site real quick, and see if I can get something from it. See if we can get it. Maybe- maybe it'll give me like an MP40 or something. Because I don't have enough of the ammo. Let me see. Okay, it gave me a Mauser. I mean, I guess that's better than nothing, I suppose. Let me see. Because I can't, if I get, unless I can get a thousand points from this zombie alone, it's not, I, I don't see it happening. Shit. Hold up. Okay, I killed him. This is, this is bad. This is real bad, guys, because the Panzer comes this round. And if he, if he kills me, I gotta restart. <laughs> This challenge is no joke, dude. You can't get jug until the very end. The very end. And if you guys know, with that two-hit system, it doesn't play. Alright, where's big boy at? Bring your ass on. Yep, I hear that siren. I hear it. I hear it. Oh, there he is. Yep, I'm getting the fuck out of here. See you later, boys. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gone. Nutty, before I get distracted, I gotta go because I gotta get that seven. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I understand. But it was uh, good having you in here, dude. Appreciate you. Oh, my God. Shouldn't you be dead by now? Fuck. Come on. <laughs> Man needs to check his blood pressure. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I should have put a heartbeat sensor on this stream. I really should have. Because, like, because, like, this, this shit is actually anxiety inducing. Because without Jug, it feels so naked. Never warned us they were armor, Rick Toffin. I like how he's talking to Rick Toffin, even though Rick Toffin's not even here. Like, it's, it's so awkward. But I just thought I'd say hi for him. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I understand. Wait, if he can if he can smash the Panzer, that'd be great. Fuck. Tell me I get. Oh wait, no, I have to buy the gun again. Shit. Fuck. Come on, go, go. Nope. Yeah, two two subs to three hundred thirty three subs. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I appreciate it, guys. Really do. But uh, three three three, the unlucky fucking number because I got this big boy chasing me. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, come on, just 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 a little more pocket change, man. Just a little more pocket change so I don't get screwed over. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is severe anxiety right now. Like I'm actually shitting my pants. Oh my god, because like like on BO3 it wouldn't be that bad. Because you can take three hits before you die. But on Black Ops 1 and 2, two swipes. That's it. You're out. <laughs> and someone beat this map at 30. Yeah, I saw that speed run. That was crazy. Like, the solo world record Easter egg on this map is 30, 35 minutes. Wait, did, wait, let that sink in. That is, it, it takes me like four hours to do the Easter egg on this map every time I do it. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Miracle, I'm barely hanging on. Shit, give me that ballista. Come on, come on, come on. Quick scope, quick scope. That's insane. Yeah, it really is. They need to bring back promo perks. No, make zombies hard. Like, like, the zombies community is so indecisive. Like, like, because people bitched about Black Ops 3 being too easy. And then in Black Ops 4, they made it harder. And they're like, oh, it's too hard. <laughs> like, 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 you want it to be 
Wait, what do you want it to be then? Wait, do you want it to be hard? Perma perks were so fun. But they made the game too easy, mate. Shit. Alright. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. If I can get to the big boy. Yeah, he tried to shoot his quad at me. Nope. Not today. Not today. Fuck. Come on. Black S4 is way easier than the PO3. You think so? I think it's actually the opposite. Because people complained about Black Ops 4 uh, being too... It being too uh, difficult because the zombies were a lot faster than BO3. Shit. Okay, I have a thousand points so I can get that door because I, I played with the idea of opening that door first and then just risking it with the... Shit. He's still alive, dude. He's still fucking alive. I... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my god. I think it needs to be a mix of, like, BO3 and Cold War, to be honest. I think BO3 is easy because of Gobble Gum. Yeah, be, like, the, the, the Gobble Gums in Black Ops 3 were overpowered as hell. Shit. Come on, just give me the wind staff, dude. I just need the wind staff and that's it. If I can get 1200... Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, but you spawn in with Jug and Wrath... Shit. Uh, Wraith fires that are one-shot kills an OP specialist. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, see, I don't know anything about, like, Cold War zombies, or even Vanguard zombies. I haven't even, I've never even played Call of Duty Vanguard. Because the, the last brand new COD I played was Cold War, and I didn't even like it that much. Because COD nowadays is, 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 is too, too much. Like, it used to be very simplistic, now it's just over the top with everything. Shit. I have the worst aim in the world, I swear. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no shit, Dempsey. Jesus Christ. This man, Dempsey, is a trooper. And I think, see, look, I, I I died twice already on this challenge. Wait, because I, I didn't even get past round two. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Okay, okay, get that. Wait, no, it's 1,300? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, my God. Cold War is easy, but in a fun way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, I see what you mean. Like, because when I played it, it was it was pretty easy. Like, I, got to, I think I got to, like, round 20 without even knowing how to do anything I'll on the map. But, like, gobble gums are great, but they were too strong. That's why a lot of people who don't use them for, like, a challenger. Uh, excuse me, Samantha? Did, did she just try to tell me that I have to do the Easter egg? <laughs> Not today. I ain't got that time, baby. <laughs> I get that time. Yeah, the, uh, the, the gobble gums were extremely broken. Like, I remember near-death experience. Like, it was so broken that, like, you could keep your perks after you die. And it's like, what's the point of going, like, like the whole point, like, the whole point is to punish you because you died. Oh, shit. Just got a trophy called Employee of the Year for completing all main missions. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. I like trophies. Like, I like achievements and stuff on video games because it, it gives a sense of accomplishment and replay value. I think the only Platinum trophy I hated doing was, I want to say, probably The Last of Us. I hated the Platinum trophy in that game. Oh, shit. Because of all the optional conversations and shit. Yeah, Cold War is easy. Oh, I got to around 87 on Soul. Couldn't do that shit on BO5. Damn, dude. 87. That is... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See, for me, like, I think my highest round was 56, I think, on Dreisendrak. And the reason I didn't go any further is because I got bored. And like I said, like, I like zombies. But my biggest problem with it is once you get into the high, high rounds, it starts to get very boring. Like, I mean, because it just... You're just doing the same thing over and over. Okay, I shot his face plate off. How do you like that, you fat shit? <laughs> okay. Alright. Come on, man. If we can get that wind staff, come on. Come on, we're so... We're, we're doing good. And then we gotta focus on getting perks. Because that is the whole point of this challenge. Damn! He shot that claw far as hell. Nope. Don't you dare. Not today. Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> yeah, the game is like, ha, yeet, gonna die. Because I kind of want to risk going to the crazy place. Did that? F did the Panzer get stuck? Yeah, high round zombies is boring after a while. I feel like if they had challenges at the high round zombie. Yeah, that's true. Actually, speaking of that, that brings me back to the good old days of uh, Black Ops One. I remember when I was a, when I was a stupid kid, and everybody used to say, "Oh, if you get to round a hundred, then zombie hit responds." And he's like, he's a zombie boss, but it was obviously bullshit. Shit. Yeah, how do you like that? Oh! <gasps> Hold up. <laughs> Anxiety, dude, is for... It, it, it's, it's through the roof. 
Yeah, how do you like that? Okay, Panzer's dead. I, I, I think a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Like, I finally feel less naked now. Holy shit. I killed the Panzer. I killed the Panzer. And see, that's another thing, too. I remember when Zombies Chronicles first came out. And they, they had remastered Origins. And the Panzer was beefed up so much for no reason. Like, it takes, like, 50 clips to kill the fucking Panzer. It's ridiculous. Okay. But, uh, Cold War makes high rounds kind of fun with the Rampage Inductor. Yeah, I know, see, I don't know anything about that, because I've never played Cold War like that. I agree, Rampage Inductor changed the game a lot. Huh. I'm actually kind of tempted to get the game now, because, like, I I've heard it was good. You going prone by the perk machines? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the coins. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, actually. Alright. We gotta be careful. So I'm gonna try to leave one zombie alive. Shit. But, uh, especially if you use it on round one. You see, I don't understand. You, you guys want to know a story. I'm going to tell you guys a true story. Something that happened to me years ago. Back when Zombies Chronicles first came out for BO3, I remember I was helping this this squeaker do the Origins Easter egg. And he was real, real heavy on his gobble gums. Like, he, if he would die with a perkaholic, he would quit. And so I remember we got to the very end of the uh, Origins Easter egg. And he downed in the uh, crazy place. And I kid you not... I kid you not, he left. Oh my god, I was furious. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you cannot be for real. I'm like, like, like he legitimately, like, he quit. I'm like, really, dude, on the last step? Come on, like, I just went through this, like, all this trouble to help you with this. And then he, he was, <laughs> I got mad at him, and then he started crying. <laughs> he was like, you're so mean to me. <laughs> I'm like, you're fucking, you pissed me off, you wasted my time, dude. You wasted my fucking time. And I just realized I went to the wrong tunnel. Oh, shit. But, uh, they just make zombies start around 100 speed. Oh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. But, uh, hey, I didn't quit. I'm not talking about you. Although I do remember when we used to play zombies with Jeff, though. That was fun. Okay. I gotta be careful, because it takes a while to get this fucking thing open. Shit. Uh, let's go now. <laughs> There's ammo in this game that ignores wind and drop physics. Oh, that's actually really cool, actually. I hate that, like, the drop physics. That shit is actually annoying. It's like, oh, you, you have to, like, you have to aim higher and shit. Come on, give me that wind staff stone, baby. Give me that wind staff stone. Okay, I got it. Okay, we have a staff. We have a staff. Thank God. You got so mad at me when I stole your extra credits into it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's hit scan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything. Shit. No, no. I know what you're trying to do, zombie. I know what you're trying to do, Templar zombie. <laughs> you guys want to know a fun fact, though? Kino der Toten from Black Ops 1 was actually supposed to be a World at War map. Like, it was it was supposed to be a DLC map for World at War. <laughs> Not hitscan, it, has, it still has travel time. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's claim that wind staff, baby. And then after that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna farm a little bit of points, try to get PhD, I'm gonna just keep trying to get PhD, and then after that, we're going to focus on getting the dig sites, because we do have to have the golden shovel for this challenge. And getting the golden... I almost said Cholton. <laughs> getting, getting the golden shovel is uh, very easy. All you got to do is just dig up 30 uh, dig sites, and that's it. So this challenge is going to take a while, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it just it depends on how lucky we get. What game is that? Just curious. He's like, oh, I, I want to I play that shit. I'll just... <laughs> okay. Kino called it in a moon. Were, play were they? I, I, cause I, I, I thought it was just, um, hold up, okay, I was making sure there wasn't a zombie behind me, give me that wind staff, baby, give me that shit, okay, I feel a little less defenseless, you have one of the staffs, please keep doing the easter egg and wasting your fucking life on shit, no, I'm just, the easter egg in this map is just, it's so annoying, like, I mean, wait, people, cause I was watching a video, and they were doing the top easter eggs and stuff, and his, obviously, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, you know, people can like what they like. But his number one Easter egg was Origins. And it's just, it's the least solo-friendly Easter egg imaginable. I mean, because, like, unless you have four people, this Easter egg can take, like, four hours. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I'll have to check it out. It sounds interesting. Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts, too. So the Windstaff is pretty much just a Thunder Gun. That's literally all it is. 
<laughs> I like how we just got knocked backwards. <laughs> can I get snow? Yes, I can, baby. Give me those dick sights. Did you watch videos for the stream or do you still remember the steps? Actually, I, I did look at some of the steps for the Easter egg, but I can I know the Easter egg by heart now. Like, it's actually not like I don't need a guide or anything. No, my opinion reigns above all. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and get the ice staff pieces. I'm gonna go back to spawn. <laughs> Damn respect, yeah. I mean, with Black Ops 3, I did the Easter eggs so many times to, like, so many times to a point where at one point in time, I could do every Easter egg by heart. Like, I didn't, I didn't need any kind of guide, and that applied to Zetsubu no Shima, uh, Dreisendrak, what, what was the other one? Um, oh, Gorod Krovi. Except Gorod Krovi is the weakest map in Black Ops 3. Like, I, I, I cannot stand that fucking map. Like, I mean, some people like it, but it's, it's definitely my least favorite. It's just... Not a good map, I don't know. Like, I, I hate the Easter egg, I hate the boss fight, I just hate everything about it. Alright, give me this, thank you. Shit, shit, shit. But, uh, what's up, guys? Hi, Miracle, even though you're sitting over there. I'm just... <laughs> just play... V Vakuda Mission, all know the Easter egg. Are you talking about All's Arrow? The, uh, upgraded ice staff? But, uh, bro, I don't even remember how to do the KT4. Oh, yeah, the KT4 is easy as shit. It's, it's funny because I... I tried to do the ZNS Easter egg, like not too long ago, on PC, and I think, it, like, I got halfway through and I realized I didn't have the right gobble gum for it, but I had to, I had to end it. <laughs> Miracle hype? Someone yeah, it's one of the worst. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wait, wait, Gorod Krovi, I used to like that map, like, I really did, but then, when I realized the Easter egg and how annoying it is, I was like, it, it, it's just not, it's just not a good map. I mean, because, look, I can understand why people like it, but the problem is, there's a step in that easter egg. I mean, obviously, there's nothing wrong with the challenge, but there's a step in this easter egg. Not this one, Gorat Krovis, and it's called Simon Says Boom, or something like that, or Samantha Says Boom. And pretty much what it is, is there's a series of, oh shit, there's a series of bombs around the map that you have to defuse, but you can't just do it in any order, and if you do it, out of order, like, in, in the orders that the game doesn't want you to do it in, you insta-down. Like, it, as soon as you press, like, the moment you push the wrong bomb, dead. You're dead. Like, like I, I just think that's such a, I mean, it's, it, it sounds kind of childish, but I think that's just extremely unfair. I mean, like, that's just, like, that's so stupid. Like, I mean, obviously, if you have quick revive, you get revived, but... It's just, it's such an unfair step. I don't know, I just, I can't stand that fucking Easter egg. But, uh, the bomb step, yeah. <laughs> What's up, CJ? However you spell the black ops. Are you talking about Vorkuda? Yeah. But, uh, terribly designed step. Yeah, it's it's an awful step, yeah. But, uh, in this game, there's a skill that makes, I have to watch how I reach that, that makes running and walking doesn't make noise. Oh, it's actually kind of like Ghost a little bit from, um, multiplayer, uh, Call of Duty. PhD. Yes, we got PhD. Let's fucking go, dude. We got PhD. Okay, so we got the first perk of the challenge. We got the first perk. Okay, at least we got something. At least we got something. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Electric Cherry. So again, that's one that we have to get from the uh, Wonder Fizz. Let's get the only step I didn't, I don't like is the generator step. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Cause uh, Gurad Krovi has a long Easter egg. And I remember there was a glitch. Let me let me tell you guys, because when when if you guys had Black Ops Three when it first came out, you guys would know that game had so many glitches and bugs in it that it made the game almost unplayable. Like there was a glitch in uh, Horizon Track when it first came out, and I'll never forget this shit because it, it never happened to me, but I saw it on YouTube, and it was the funniest shit. So basically, these guys had had completed the Easter egg and they got into the cutscene where they collect the soul of uh, Dempsey. And in the cutscene, they were getting attacked by zombies, and they died in the cutscene. <laughs> like, they fucking died in the cutscene. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine that? Like, you go through this painstaking fucking Easter egg, and only for only to die in the fucking cutscene. Dude, like, can you imagine that? Like, that's so, like, that's such awful programming. <laughs> like, how does that happen? Okay, so what do we want to do now? Okay, we want to dig up... More of the, uh, dig sites. What, uh, takes you out of the game. Oh, yeah, the, uh... Oh, yeah, the, uh, GK used to crash, yeah. 
I forgot about that. There was a glitch with uh, Garad Krovi not too long ago, where whenever you would complete the Easter egg... <gasps> Shit. Okay. All right, I'm good. I'm good. But uh, whenever you would complete the Easter egg, the uh, the the game would crash. Like not the whole entire game, but like the the map would crash, and it would take you back to the main menu. And I remember I did it with a group of friends who were like, "Oh yeah, we did it," and then it crashed. I was like, "Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me right now. Are you? No, especially after an Easter egg like that, you cannot be for real." You cannot be for real. Like, like, are you actually saying... Nah, me and Jeff did the DE Easter egg. I put the rags down. Then went down. The game didn't register. Oh, dude. Didn't that shit... I think so. I think it happened. I remember I was doing Derizon Drac with one of my friends once. And he... <laughs> he would take the Easter eggs rather seriously. Like, he wouldn't really mess around or anything. And I remember we were doing Derizon Drac in the boss fight. And I remember he was about to go down. <laughs> and I had monkeys. I was, the only, I was the only one in the game that had monkey bombs. And I was focused on the game. Well, you know, I was, I was into it. But I, I, I couldn't focus anymore whenever he... Because he, like, he was about to go down. And he kept saying, safety monkey, safety monkey, safety monkey. <laughs> Wait, dude, what? Safety monkey? It's like, here's your best pal, the safety monkey. <laughs> he was like, safety monkey, safety monkey. Like, I, I, I tried to keep a straight face after that, but I couldn't. Kind of like, dude. Safety monkey? What does that even mean? Alright, so I think what we're gonna do now is... Shit. Okay. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna... I think I'm gonna upgrade the wind staff because... Oh wait, no. No, I shouldn't do that. Not until I have a pack-a-punch gun. I don't think it's worth it. Ah, oh, man. I miss the old days of Black Ops 3, though. Good times. But uh, what should I do next? I think I'm gonna get... Pop that cherry? Huh? That reminds me of Vice City with the uh, Cherry Poppers ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, but I do hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. It's a little slow. But we're making progress. At least we got one perk so far. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Because the order we have to go in is PhD, Electric Cherry, Quick Revive, Mule Kick, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, Double Tap, and Jug. So, <laughs> ain't that next? Oh yeah, yeah, Electric Cherry. Yeah. But the, I think the only way you can get Electric Cherry... Is through the uh, Wonder Fizz, so yeah. We have to uh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh shit! Let's get that generator. But yeah, this map I have a love hate relationship with Origins. Like, I like the map, but at the same time, I can't stand it. Like, it's just I don't know. Wait, it's not a bad map. Okay. All right, you all right? You're all right, Dempsey. It's it just says game over. I'd be like, bro, no, I just lost thirty minutes of my life. I just lost 30 minutes of my life on this earth. Okay, so we have the fire staff. Um, I'm probably going to get the fire staff. It's a, I think it's the most powerful one, I think. Although I could be, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the fire staff is the strongest one. And I'm pretty sure the wind is the weakest. It's ironic as hell, actually. <laughs> it's like you have the weakest staff, but it's better than nothing, though. Okay. So what should we do next? I'm trying to figure this out. Shit, okay. Listen, I think we're gonna focus on getting points. Let's focus on getting points. And then we can get the, uh, Wonder Fizz. And then, we can hopefully get Electric Cherry. Hopefully I can get that. But uh, I'll never forget when I crashed on round 78 on this map. Aw, oh, damn, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I remember th there was a glitch. It happened on... I think it was... It, it was it was Revelations. Revelations... I think Garad Krovi, and I think that's it. There was a glitch where whenever you would enter the boss fight arena, there was a death barrier. And as soon as you entered the boss fight arena, you would you would die because of a glitch. <laughs> like, it's like, like, I remember they landed into the Revelations boss fight, and it just said game over. It's like, dude, can you imagine that shit? Like, holy shit. I feel like I shouldn't have went for this. It's probably a risky move. One way or another, you should have known. Okay. I should be okay. I should be okay. Alright. Fuck. Oh god, guys. I'm just I'm just in the zone right now. It goes lightning, fire, wind, ice from weakest to strongest. Oh, wait, so... Oh, the lightning staff is the weakest? Oh, okay. You see, I didn't know that, because I always thought that... Oh, wait, no, you know what I need to do? Build a shield. That's what I need to do. I don't have the shield. Yeah, that's... I didn't even think about that. 
that's what we need to focus on, is building the shield. And I don't know how I didn't get the piece at spawn, I, f I totally forgot about that. Whoopsie. But, no, I mean, playing this map always brings back memories, though. I miss the old days of Call of Duty. Like, I, I used to play zombies a lot. I don't really play uh, Call of Duty zombies too much anymore. But, you know, it's it's always fun to go back and play some of these. Like, I mean, I love Horizon Direct still. That's a great map. Uh, ZNS, kind of like Shadows of Evil, I hated it at first, but after a while I liked it. Like, it was it was an okay map. And then, uh... What was it? Uh, Gorod Krovi. I, I can't stand that fucking map. I just, I hate everything about it. I mean, I like the setting of it. I mean, it's the Battle of Stalingrad. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, but... It's, like, the, 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 the Easter egg was just so tedious. I just hated it. But uh, time for me to play Persona 4. Oh, nice. Nice. I've heard of Persona. I've never played it, though. Shit. Okay. Buy this. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that double points, but whatever. No! No, no. We're not doing that, zombie. Nope. One way or another, you should have known I was gonna blow you away. Shit. I don't have this door open. Maybe I should wait until I have a, maybe one zombie left to get the shield. It's just it's it's too risky to go now. There's too many zombies. But uh lightning drops off in the thirties, fire crashes, and the other two do infinite damage. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. Because I was always told the wind staff was the worst. Oh shit. But, uh, bro, they still charge $60 for this game. Yeah, yeah, that's, it, like, it's like that on Xbox Live, too. And, like, that that's actually a recurring problem with the COD games. Like, they're so expensive. Shit. They're so expensive for no reason. Like, DLC is still full price. The game itself is still full price. And they have the nerve, they have the nerve to sell this shit with hackers and shit overrunning this game. Like, Black Ops 3. It's still 60 bucks. I mean, that game isn't terribly old, but I mean, it's still, it, it's getting there. And the craziest part is that there was literally an REM hack on the game not too long ago where people could get into your fucking computer and steal your shit. And they were trying to sell it full price. You okay? Okay, I'm just asking. But, uh, nah, wind is only bad because low ammo. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. That's crazy. Ooh, max ammo! Give me that max ammo, baby! Yeah, I need to, I need this. I need these points badly. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. It's like how are you gonna sell a game full? It's like you you have the nerve to sell the game full price when there's hackers in the game. Like really? Come on. And, and you know the saddest part? Black Ops Three doesn't even have an anti cheat. It doesn't even have an anti cheat. Like like so that means it's it's very easy to get away with hacking in that game, at least on PC. But on, on on console, I guess it's it's a little harder because, you know, it's the tighter security measures. But it's legitimately, there's no anti-cheat on, on, on fucking PC. Like, even World at War, World at War from 2008 has an anti-cheat. Black Ops 3 from 2015 does not have an anti-cheat. How does that work? Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, why do you have an anti-cheat on World at War but not Black Ops 3? <laughs> Wait, World at War is a, is a much older game. It's actually, like, it's embarrassing. It's like, come on now. Really? Even on console, all, all I find on multiplayer modders, yeah, that the, the multiplayer on BO3 was pretty dog shit anyway. Like, I didn't really like it anyway. Where's the shield piece? I can't remember. What? Which, uh, I gotta remember this, because I haven't played this fucking... Okay. Oh god, I thought I got stuck right there. I'm like, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm like, I'm dead, boys. Oh, goodness. But where is it? Oh, wait, no, it's over back here. I know where it is. You guys want to know a fun fact, though? Um, A fun fact is that the artwork on the loading screen for this map was done by Alex Ross. And if you guys don't know who Alex Ross is, um, he's actually, he's an artist for uh, DC and Marvel, which is actually pretty cool. He, uh, he drew the uh, concept art for this. Oh my god, bro, this girl I'm on the phone with is a freak freak. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna talk about that. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have killed that zombie. Having a chat. Fuck. Alright. If I can build the shield quick enough, I should be okay. Should be okay. No, 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 I don't want to craft the Maxis. Oh wait, I don't even have all the pieces. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna go build the shield even though I don't have all the pieces. Okay. But, uh. The, sur 
Hold on a sec. The Persona soundtrack is a bop. The music I'm hearing right now just walking around is so good. I might have to look it up because I, I kind of always had a... What, Nurple? I'm trying to do this. <laughs> no, but, uh... The, the Persona soundtrack, I'm gonna have to look that up, because I've always had a, a thing for uh, music soundtracks on games. I still think that's a uh, legitimate category of music. But people say, oh, video game music isn't music. I mean, technically, I mean, it, it's music at the end of the day. You get the one by Gen 3. You talking about the, oh, the shield piece? No, I didn't get that one yet. I'm working on that, though. Because I'm, I'm trying to do, like, I'm trying to balance a million things at once right now. Like, I'm trying to get points so I can hit the Wonder Fizz as many times as I can. But at the same time, I'm also trying to get prepared so I don't get fucked over later on. Because, uh, ideally, I would like to have that MG-08 with, the, like, the free Pack-a-Punch one. But I have to get the Maxis Drone for that. Because this game is just too demanding. Ugh. And so that way we can upgrade the Wind Staff without getting our ass handed to... Oh, well. Oh my god. I <laughs> see, look! That's what happens when you don't pay attention! Okay. Got you. I must actually have a sizable amount of points. So I'm not doing too bad. But uh, don't you still got the zombie bonus spawn or two? Double. That was actually a double points. So I actually picked it up already. Because, you know, I was trying to use it to get points. But, uh. Yeah, I gotta say, this challenge isn't. I mean, it's like it's challenging, I guess like i can see where the challenge stems from but at the same time like it's it's more time consuming than challenging i think it's i think that's just it's just more time consuming than anything like i mean i can see where the challenge stems from but to me it's just be able to find a good use. mostly just time consuming that's like it's like zns's easter egg like zetsubu no shima has an easy easter egg it's just time consuming it's rage inducing Oh, the, uh, Rainbow Perch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see how. I mean, because, you know, you have to, you know, get all the perks, and the, the last perk you get is Jug. And, you know, with a two-hit system, that can be very frustrating, but... I mean, to me, it just feels time-consuming. I don't know, it's like, like, I only have one perk, and I've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> it's like, bro, you only got one perk. You suck at this fucking game. I'm just... It's like even a newborn baby is like, you suck. No. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm actually surprised Cameron's not here, because... I think he's streaming tonight, but he might be busy. That man's a college dude. That's probably why he's busy. But I do hope you guys are doing good, though. Really do. Hope everybody's enjoying the stream so far. As we do the Rainbow Perk Challenge, or the Reverse Rainbow Perk Challenge. And I gotta tell you guys, making the thumbnail for the stream was a pain in the ass, because I, I was having a hard time trying to figure out the rainbow pattern thing. But if anyone's wondering what song I'm hearing, the song's called Your Affection. Okay, yeah, we want to change to the zombie shoot. Keyboard. Looks like this is just about done. Okay. So I got the zombie shield. Okay, I feel a little less naked. So a panzer is going to be coming in here pretty soon, I think so. So I'm going to focus on... Oh, no. Thank God I heard that siren. Jesus. What up? I hear that panzer is somewhere. Alright. So what we want to focus on now is, like I said, points, obviously. We want to focus on getting the wind staff upgraded. And we want to get the generators open. So that way we can pack a punch. So we're not completely fucked over. Shit. Oh, thank God for this zombie blood. Holy shit. I like how he just sits there. He's like, oh, my faceplate just got blown off. Let me just stand there. <laughs> Damn, it takes three shots to kill him with that? Jeez. Right, I'm gonna hit that. And then I'm gonna go to Gen 5 real quick. I'm about to do some cringy make Dragon Ball song called Just Saying. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Dragon Ball Tenkaichi, like Budokai Tenkaichi, is uh, getting a new game. I think it's Budokai Tenkaichi 4. So that's pretty cool. Budokai Tenkaichi 4! Shit. Alright, come on, give me the generator. Don't do this to me, baby! Okay. Thank God for this shield, holy shit. Yeah, Nuke steals points, not steal points. Oh god. <laughs> Nuke steals, yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, I don't know. Ugh. Something in my mouth. I don't know what the hell that was. But, uh, yeah, see, like, I try not to get nukes unless I'm gonna, like, unless I'm in a pretty dangerous situation. But, all right, what are we doing now? Okay, let's hit the Wonder Fizz. That's because we got it. We can't lose focus of the main task. We got it. We got to do this because that's the whole point is to do the reverse rainbow perk challenge. That's the whole point of this live stream. We're not doing this just to loll about. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the Wonder Fizz. 
Come on, give me something good. Shit. Oh, I got the teddy bear perk. Yeah, that means it moved. Damn it. So yeah, the Wonder Fizz is a lot like the box. It can move if you hit it too many times. So you have to kind of be cautious with how many times you hit it. That's the problem. I don't know the spawn locations. <coughs> Damn. Something's in my throat. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I had to uh, get a sip of water. But uh, that's the problem. I actually don't know where the Wonder Fizz spawns. I mean, I know that it can spawn by Gen 5. But I'm not sure about the rest, so. Just gonna have to keep looking. If it's like 3, it's fire. If it's like ultimate, I'm gonna burn down Bandit. But the, oh, are you talking about uh, Budokai Tenkaichi? Yeah, see, I, I played Budokai Tenkaichi 3 on the PlayStation 2, and that game was ahead of its time. That game had literally every Dragon Ball character at the time. It even had, like, it had Kid Goku in it. It had Grandpa Gohan. Um, I think it had, it even had some of the movies. Like, it, like it had the, the movie Broly, too. And apparently there's, there's rumors that it's going to be like Xenoverse, which I hope not, because... Xenoverse has got to be the most confusing game I've ever played. I mean, I, ch I played Xenoverse 2, and I didn't even like it, if I'm being honest. Like, it was like it was just too confusing. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, shit. Okay, so we have the Maxis drum. That's cool. So now, that's another form of protection. Okay. I gotta find the Wonder Fizz, though. I don't know where it spawns, though. Gen 5, Gen 3, Jogan spawn. Oh, okay. Alright, so we, we checked Gen 5. Did we check Gen 3? I don't think we checked Gen 3. Okay, so we'll go to Gen 3. Let's see. But we also have to remember we have to get the Golden Shovel, too. You have to do 30 dig sites. That's kind of excessive, but whatever. You can also get the Golden Helmet. I'm not sure how you do that. I think, because I think with the Golden Helmet, you can survive getting smashed by the robot. I think, like, you can the robot can step on you without consequence. So that's pretty cool. But I, I don't know how you would go about getting it, because I don't think I've ever had the gold helmet. Double points. I don't need that right now, but it's worth it. I think I might be one at Gen 6, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Where is... Are, are you sure Wonder Fizz is here? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Shit, it's right there. Okay. All right. Come on, Electro Cherry. Ah, we got Quick Revive. Damn, we don't need Quick Revive yet, though. We don't need it. We don't need it. Shit. Okay, build up as many points as we can. Some way you get the golden shovel. Oh, really? Is is that how you get the golden shovel? Or the golden helmet? Okay. Oh, look how it just gives me a double points again. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, we want to leave one zombie alive. I'm going to try to make a crawler, so that way I can make it easy on myself. So I'm going to make a crawler real quick. Damn. Fuck. I think... Don't tell me I damaged that zombie. If, if the zombie's damaged, you can't make a crawl. Damn, fuck. I think it's 20 more after. Oh, damn. That's a lot. All right. So the, the thing, the way zombies works is you can make a crawler with a grenade, but if the zombie's already damaged, it, you can't you can't make a crawler out of it because you'll kill it if you try to do it. Oh, shit. Ah, mule kick. Nope. We don't need mule kick. <laughs> At least not yet. Crawlers bleed out on this game. Do they? Oh, so it's not like BO3. Shit. Okay. You know what? Alright. I'm just gonna kill these zombies. Fuck it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Watch your cherry. Come on. Watch your cherry! Let's go! <laughs> That's two perks down, baby! Oh, shit. Miracle, I got two perks. What do you mean? Wait, no, we can get quick revive. Wait. Wait, guys. Wait, no, we can get quick revive. Hold up. Okay, that's three perks. That's three perks. Okay. Okay. So if we go down... Shit. Fuck. Hold on a second. So if we go down, we won't. We won't die. We won't die. We'll, we'll we'll die, obviously, but we won't like completely die. Only rule that Warden Blights one. They won't die. Oh, that's inter that's actually interesting. I didn't even know that. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little worried about the ammo on the Windstaff. It's getting a little low. So, yeah, but guys, we have three perks. Three fucking perks. What's the next one? Mule kick. So I can actually get mule kick too. I have to go in the excavation site. But I'm not doing that because right now it's far too dangerous. Because th that's a very good place to get killed at. And plus I don't even have enough anyway. And then after that, 
we have to do, we have to get the golden shovel after that, so we can't continue until we get the golden shovel. Yeah, guys, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I might actually get this challenge. I might actually get it. Shit. But I have to remember something. At the end of the day, I don't have Jug. So, two hits, I'm done. Zombie blood. I will take that from you. Gonna get some points. Oh, yeah. Electro Cherry is a nice perk. Like, I like it. And it's funny because Electro Cherry is the only perk in uh, Zombie's history that doesn't have a jingle to it. Like, it's, it's the only perk that doesn't have a jingle. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I have to wait for the robot foot. Okay. All right, come on, robot. Hurry, 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 please. <laughs> oh, my God. You know about the Semtistry? Yeah, I've heard about that, and I was actually forgot to mention that. And there's a thing you can do where if you throw a Semtix at the dig sites, you don't need a zombie blood to see it. But I feel like that kind of ruins the integrity of the challenge. Like, I feel like it kind of takes away from it. So I'm not going to do it just for the challenge's sake. Shit. Okay. Got you. But I could give it a jingle. Oh, God. I wonder what that's going to be like. <laughs> He's like, I can give it a jingle if you want. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, you know, Shadows of Evil is a map when it first came out, I didn't like it. But after a while, I actually liked that map. Like, it was, it's a fun map. I really do like Shadows of Evil. Alright, I'm going to try to get a crawler out of these guys. I'm get a crawler. Overshot of that grenade. Damn it. It's also the only perk to be on more than one map. To only have one machine tool. Shit. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Yeah, because is, isn't the machine only on Mob of the Dead, isn't it? I think. Yeah, Mob of the Dead, like, again, that's a map, like, I have conflicting thoughts about. Like, I like Mob of the Dead, but at the same time, I hate how long it takes to get set up on Mob. Like, it's like you gotta build a plane, then you gotta go to pack but just, like, just doing some... Like, I like the concept of it, like, Afterlife and stuff, but... it Mob of the Dead is a very tedious map, though. Oh, shit. Like, I like it, but I don't, like, love it or anything. It's it's a fan favorite, though, I know that. Be careful disrespecting Shadows of Evil, I'll go full fit. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting Shadows, trust me, like. I like Shadows of Evil. It's great, man. Ch Russia. Yeah, this is Russian territory. But just keep in mind, guys, if I, if I go down, I have to get my perks back, so... Yeah. I'm trying to see how many zombies I have. Well, let me see. Shit. Okay, we have crawlers. Okay, we have a crawler. Actually, a few of them, so... I'm gonna take advantage of that. And I'm gonna go grab Mule Kick. It's down in the uh, excavation site. And then... We're gonna go ahead... And try to get the generators open. So that way I can pack a punch later. Because Mule Kick is gonna eat up all my points. So, yeah. Because <laughs> it's 4,000 fucking points. Like, what do you think I'm made of, Gayark? Huh? Think I'm gonna made of points? I'm not made of points, man. I'm made of... Fucking nothing. Okay. That shit. Okay. So there we go. We got four perks, guys. We're almost there. Now, this is where the, the the torture sets in. So the next perk we have to get is Speed Cola. And this is when it really starts to test your skill. Because since I have four perks, I can't get any more. Unless I get a perk slot. And the only way to get a perk slot is you have to get a golden shovel, and dig up the red dig sites. So yeah, that's, this is where it starts to get hard. <laughs> this is where it starts to get really hard. You can upgrade the ice, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to, so I can get that free zombie blood. But I don't even have the ice stat built, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Even though the zombie is gonna probably die, but, shit. Because, but here's the thing, I have to, hold on a second. I have an idea, I have an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get that free Pack-A-Punch MG-08, so that way, whenever I have to get the kills to upgrade the staff, I don't get my ass handed to me. So. Oh, yep, zombie died. Fuck! <laughs> the game is like, yeah, no, fuck you, buddy. You don't get shit, son. Alright. You know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to try to get that max ammo real quick. It's it, it's a waste. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Never mind, never mind. I can just go to, I can just go to Gen 4. I just go to Gen 4. And then get a max ammo that way. Shit. Of course the fucking robots coming this way. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Go, go, go. Okay. 
Give me that max ammo. Okay, I feel a little less, a little less naked. Because I have uh, ammo in my wind staff, so I don't feel as naked. But I still want to try to get that MG-08, though. Because if you get... Um... What's it called? If, if you get all of the, uh... The discs, you get a free pack punch MG-08. But, uh... Ain't all the other perks you need able to buy besides... Actually, the, the only ones I can't buy... Are... Let me see, double tap? Yeah, yeah, the only one I can't buy now is double tap. All, all the other ones I can uh, buy. But, uh, Breaking Wind in Black Ops 2, yeah, quite literally. <laughs> but, uh, what's up, VGPS? I'm barely hanging on here, but I got it. I got it. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to make my mama proud. Hey, Maxis drone, it'd be great if you could come over here. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. Okay. Okay, you got the disc. You got the disc. Alright. So, yeah, the, like, I'm not too, like, I mean, this is literally just, like, Nocturne Toten. Like, there's, there's no perks. So, it's, like, I mean, there's perks, but you don't get jugs, so. Two hits, I'm done. But I don't remember where all the pieces are. I gotta remember, like, the, uh, the discs for the, uh, MG-08. Gotta remember that. <gasps> Shit. Hold up. Shit. Give me that max ammo. I like how it says max ammo. Like a creep in your, it's like, hey, hey, buddy. Ammo. No, I'm joking. Oh, okay. God. No, but, uh, damn, wouldn't that beard grow out? I mean, yeah, actually, it's, like, I've been letting it grow for a few months now, and it's, it's, it's still sort of getting there, but not really, like, I don't really have the proper genetics to grow facial hair, but Miracle's always like, can I touch it? She's like, can I touch your neck beard? No, I'm joking. <laughs> can I touch your Discord mod neck beard? <laughs> oh, I got pack. Should I pack? I don't even have enough points to pack. Yeah, I'm let, I'm, I am letting my beard grow. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey, pal, do you, d did you know you have max ammo? It's like, hey, hey, pal, you have a max ammo. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, jeez. Leave me alone. No. Hey, Dorian, I don't know if you're still here, dude, but I hope you're enjoying the stream. But uh, that's where the last one is. What? Nutty Ape's beard needs its own channel. It's like, it's like I actually like just crop out a picture of it, <laughs> and it just says Nutty Ape's beard. It's just, like, it's just a, like, the, 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 the face cam is just, like, a bunch of hairs and shit, and it's just like, Hey guys, so, uh, can you ever me playing some, uh, zombies? Uh, I gotta say, this is, this, this is a hard challenge. It's a very hard, hard challenge. But, you know, I, 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 I decided to come off of his face today, and I'm gonna do my own stream. No, I'm just, <laughs> oh my god, the beard cam. Actually, dude, what if that was something I put on the, okay, the MG will be your mule kick weapon. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, if, if if I go down, I lose it, yeah. Fuck. I didn't even think about that. Shit, boys. Wait a minute, I have to remember where they're at, though. I think, because I know there's that one at spawn. There's there's the one at spawn, there's the one by Gen 5, by Church. And then there's the one at the excavation site, right? Now, I feel your beard sounds like an angry Irish guy who's going through his third divorce. Oh, my God. It's like, oi, I'm tired of me divorces all the time. <laughs> That's the best Irish accent I can do. It's like, oi, I'm not, I'm sick of people calling me a leprechaun. <laughs> oh boy. And if I back away when I laugh, guys, it's because my mic is, is a little loud and I don't want to burst anybody's eardrums, so. Yeah, I'm doing it for your guys' sake. <laughs> Nutty Leprechaun. Hey, dude, that's, that could be my second channel. I just call it Nutty Leprechaun. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, but, uh. Yeah, that animation you made was, it, it was, it was really good. I mean, cause like I said, it's better than anything I can make. Cause animation is something I can never do. Like I, I, I used to use Source Filmmaker a lot on Steam. It's, it's, it's a free software and you can, you can make some pretty cool stuff with it. I've seen some pretty, pretty much like full animated movies made with it, but it's, it's just like, I tried so hard. I tried so, so hard to, to make something worthy. And, like, the best thing I could fucking make, I shit you not, the best thing I could make, you know Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog? The best thing I could make was him going like this. I shit you not. <laughs> that was legitimately the best thing I could fucking make with Source Filmmaker. Like, it's just, it, it's, you have to do it a certain way. I, I, I couldn't do it. But, no, uh, thanks, man. I had fun doing it, but it's tedious. It took me a month. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can imagine, because you have to draw it frame by frame. So, yeah, I can understand that. Okay, what am I... Shit, what am I doing? I gotta get the Maxis drone. But where is it? Isn't that church? I always build it at the church. Or I shouldn't do that. But I already have four perks. How many do we have to get? I think we have to get eight. So we have to get four more perks. Once we get all eight... 
We're set. We did it. We did the rainbow perk challenge. We're good to go. Damn. But I gotta say, though, like I said, this challenge isn't... I mean, it's it's difficult. It's it's tedious. But to me, it's more it's it's more time consuming. If anything, like it's like it's tough, obviously. But it's, I think most of the challenge just comes from the like the amount of time it takes. I don't really think it's like that hard. But uh, one by fire tunnel, one by Gen three, by MP forty, by Gen two, by Gen four and five V two by the train route, and one by Simtex by Gen three. That's all I know. Damn, that's a lot. But uh, trying to get a team of animators and everything and make something bigger out of it. How many times have you done this challenge? Actually, this is my first go at this challenge. Like, this is my first attempt because I've been aware of this challenge for a couple years now. But I never actually gave it a go because there's two variations of this challenge. You've got the reverse rainbow perk challenge, which is what I'm doing now. And you've got the rainbow perk challenge. And the difference is just the order of perks you get. So with the rainbow perk challenge, you get jug first, which makes this challenge considerably easier but like with the reverse rainbow perk challenge you get jug last so it's a lot worse than the standard one and you have to be a lot more cautious because if you're not cautious then you're done like two hits you're done i wasn't lying when i said this is my map i mean yeah yeah i mean i, I believe you some people like origins some people like mob of the dead some people like uh, what, what, what's, what's, what's a map like, Die Rise? Like, I, 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 oh my god, Die Rise, that map was a shit show. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, my face. Okay. okay, so we got that disc. And then there's that one by the excavation site. And I think that's it, there's only four of them. New YouTube channel, Nutty Beard, yeah. Let's do it, guys. Give me that nuke. Alright, I'm trying to get some dig sites. Ish, I forgot about that spot. Yeah, the, uh, the one by spawner. Shh, shit. Yeah, that, that's, that's actually the one I always remembered. Okay. So, like I said, we're gonna have to upgrade the staff eventually, because if we don't, this thing is gonna really fall off after a while. So we're gonna have to. Do that. Shit, 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 get the nuke! Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, where's, where's Maxis? Did he leave? Don't tell me it fucking did, did it really go away already shit but i don't remember where it is ah poopy if i can get that mg08 i won't feel as naked i mean i still feel naked but not that naked how about that thing still one shooting huh what are you talking about <laughs> i actually don't even know what he's talking about i'm confused it's kind of hard to believe this map came out in 2013 oh shit i got the golden shovel you okay Oh, jeez. Okay, guys, we got the golden shovel. Okay, we can actually get somewhere with this challenge. Okay, thank fucking God. Now, the only thing we gotta do now is just get zombie bloods. That's, like, the only thing we gotta do is get zombie bloods. And once we get a zombie blood, this challenge is... is set. We got the golden shovel. Holy shit, I'm upset. Alrighty, got him. I need Maxis, though, like, ASAP. I need him. Because, uh, I need... Shooting one staff, my bad. My bad, my phone glitch. I don't actually. I'm, I actually don't know. It's a good question. I'm surprised it's still a one shot because you know usually at this round it starts to fall off. Because I was always told that this was the weakest one you could get, but I guess not. I guess lightning is the weakest, and it's ironic because in Horizon Drac, the, the the strongest bow is the uh, lightning bow. So it's actually the the irony of that is actually funny. Because a lot of people like to call Horizon Drac Origins 2.0. Because, I mean, it's it's pretty similar to this map, but not, like, majorly similar. But yeah, we have the Golden Shovel, guys. We have the Golden Shovel. It feels good to make progress. <laughs> I was talking about fully upgraded. I don't know. I mean, oh shit. I actually like the Lightning Staff. I remember, uh, I think it was BO4, I think. Apparently, BO4 was supposed to get a map, like a DLC map. That was supposed to be the Great War with Premise and stuff and the Apothecans. But that never happened. I think it was it was Togder and Toad or some shit. But uh, un unupgraded, I don't know what's the strongest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me either. I wouldn't know that either. I don't pay attention to the damage. But people are like, oh, getting to round 100 on Call of the Dead is impossible because the there's no infinite damage weapons and there's no traps. That's actually a fun fact. I don't know if you guys knew that. But uh, getting to round 100... On a Call of the Dead solo is actually impossible. Because there's no wonder weapons that do infinite damage. And there's no traps. 
So it's like you can get you can get to a hundred on co op, but not with not by yourself though. But uh, this was that was supposed to be Rev, was it? Oh, I th wait. When I watched the video, it said uh, Bo4. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I heard. I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> Good lord. What are you doing? What are you doing? One way or another. Are you eating cookies over there? Do you get, actually, guys, wait a minute. This calls for a celebration. Hold on, guys. This calls for the ultimate celebration of a Chips Ahoy cookie. <laughs> no, these things are the bomb. I went to the store earlier and bought some of these. Hmm. I'm going to try not to chew in your guys' ear. But I got to say, I fucking love Chips Ahoy. Like, I mean, I like Oreo, but Chips Ahoy is the shit. Yeah, pop the bottles. What bottles? What are you talking about? I'm confused. I don't get it. Hold on a sec. Well, what am I trying to get? I need to get Maxis. That's what we need to get. I gotta get the Maxis drone so I can get the last disc and then I can get that MG08. But I don't think it'll appear until you unlock Pack-A-Punch. I think that's how it goes. <coughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm celebrating, so let's pop bottles. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow. I mean, I may stream, it, it depends on what happens. But if we do stream tomorrow, um, I'm not sure what it's going to be. I was thinking of doing uh, the ZNS Easter egg, like Zetsubu no Shima. But I haven't decided, because I, I, honestly, I don't really like that map either. But uh, it should be there. Oh, I mean, what, what should be there? I'm sorry, I got, like, I, I lose my train of thought easily. Shit. No, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Are you mentally okay? No, I don't think so. Honestly, though, I will say this. I have a short attention span, and I forget things very easily. So it's... I, I do apologize, but that's actually true. I'm not making that up. Like, I genuinely forget things very quickly. So I do apologize about that. <laughs> but, uh, it, it, like, literally, somebody will tell me something, and then two seconds later, I forget. I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo. I forget shit, like, instantaneously. As soon as somebody tells me, it's out. It's gone, not quick. Yeah, because we need to fucking eat fucking Chips Ahoy cookies <laughs> while we play Call of Duty Zombies. How can you do the reverse rainbow per challenge and do next day do ZNS? Oh. I don't know. Like, ZNS is, is not a hard Easter egg. It's just time consuming. Like, the only step that is, is kind of nerve wracking still for me is the, the missile step. Because if you fuck it up, you have to you have to get another one. But I don't know. Like, like ZNS is... It's it's just time consuming. That looks like somebody's ass imprint. Like, I don't know. It just looks like somebody's ass imprint. <laughs> but uh, there's a music player in Persona 4. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. Hmm. So, I can't really talk right now. Oh, uh, okay. I need to get. I need to get a. Uh, I need to get the last disc for the uh, MG08. But I don't know where the fuck it is. Like, I forget how to get. Hang on. Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Okay, yeah, I have to go up in the excavation site then. But I would rather try to pick a, pick up a toothpick with my cheeks and do the NSC strike. Oh my god. Wait, do you really hate it that bad? Like ZNS to me isn't is is not even hard. Like it's just it's just time consuming. I don't like it's not even that hard of an Easter egg. Okay. Jesus, what you saying? All I hear is woo woo. I was saying I can't really talk right now when I had the ch uh, cookie in my mouth. Hold on a sec. All right, where's? I need him to get that disc. I don't know where you're supposed to stand though. I think you have to stand in a specific spot. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god. Here, let me. But it's like way up there. How the fuck are you supposed to? Get... Here, let me try it. Let me put it up here. Standing by. Maxis, no, 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 no! Don't kill the fucking zombie. I mean, he's gonna kill the zombie anyway. I need him to get that disc. It's up there, you fucking. He's not fucking going up there, dude. Oh, Maxis, you idiot! It's the worst. Well, you're talking about the Easter egg? I mean, like, it's, it's just, for me, it's more time-consuming, if anything. Oh, he got it. Oh, shit. 
Oh, pandas was coming. Shit. Hold on a sec. Go to where the free zombie bullet at. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, the, uh, where you stand at, yeah. Oh, uh, max ammo. Okay. Let's make these bullets okay, at least I got a max ammo. But there's, I have a panzer after me, but. I like how I'm still using the MP40 on this round. Like, it's like, I haven't, I haven't hit the box or anything. But see, the funny thing is, I don't ever use the box on this map. Shit. First mistake was touching. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> That's called anxiety, children. That's what happens when you almost fucking die on a challenge like this. But you know what? If I die, I'm not even going to be salty. Like, I mean, I, I, I think I did pretty good on my first attempt. Yep, there it is. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Give me that, give me that magna collider or whatever it's called. Yeah, the magna collider. All right. So this will be kind of a backup weapon, this MG-08. It's basically just a Gatling gun, kind of. Like, it's a... It shoots. Yeah, there we go. I love that pack a punch sound. That de -de 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 when you, whenever you shoot. Okay. So I'm gonna focus on the big boy. Obviously, big toy for the big boy. And ideally, I want to get a zombie blood. I'm gonna try to build the ice staff this round so I can at least get a free zombie blood. But uh, really, this map I always hit the box. They get a lot of do. Yeah. See, I mean, I never use the box. I think it's because the st it's always the staffs. I always use the staff, so I don't see a point. But I will say this: there's an interesting tidbit I read once, and uh, the tidbit is. Okay, so in Black Ops 2, if you have the Buried DLC, which is, I think, Vengeance, I think, you get the Raygun Mark II, which a lot of people don't realize is actually not a Buried exclusive weapon. Once you have it, it, it can appear in all of the maps. And uh, the, the interesting tidbit is that there's a there's an extremely, extremely thin chance. Like, we're talking astronomically thin. Like, this is so, like, unrealistically low. That it's almost impossible. But there's a very, 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 very small chance that you can get the Raygun Mark II on Origins without the Berry DLC. That's actually a true fact. Fun fact. It's extremely rare though. Like it's it's almost like impossible, but it's it's an extremely rare chance you can get it. Shit. Oh my god. You can get the Raygun Mark II on this map without owning Berry. Yeah, yeah. That's it's literally yeah the but it's 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 a thin chance. It's a it's a pretty thin chance from what I heard. Okay, I killed the panzer. Oh and he's got a zombie blood. Sorry, blood zombie. Oh, give me that shit. Okay, look for the red dig sites. Look for the red dig sites. Come on. Give it to me, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Just one red dig site. Okay, there's one over at the church. Okay, okay, I see it. I see it. I'm probably not gonna make it over there in time, but Ah, poopy. Damn it. <laughs> I have literally 30 seconds to get over there and dig it up. But even then, there's a chance I won't get it. But I see it. It's over there. Shit. And basically what this enables me to do is it, en it enables me to get a perk slot so I can dig it up. But I can't dig it unless I have a zombie blood. Fuck. But uh, the Persona 4 golden opening used the looping effect so that the game can be enjoyed many times. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, at least we know where one is, so it's not bad. This map must be held up. Stamina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, without stamina, up, like the dirt or mud, whatever it is, is a pain in the ass. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to build the ice staff. Uh, let me see. Okay, I have to go to church for that. Yeah, I have to go to church to build the ice staff. <laughs> it's like you have to accept your Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. Hmm. You have to accept our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, into your heart. In order to get the ice staff. <laughs> oh, God. Can you get the disc? Yeah, I got the disc. I didn't make the same mistake as the wind staff, trust me. Way ahead here. Okay. So we can do this. There we go. Is everything alright down there? What the hell is she doing? She's singing? That's creepy. Like, imagine hearing that that, that night. But uh, for those that may still be watching, uh, I do hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. We're making pretty good progress. We got the gold shovel. And we got four of eight perks. I think we got this, guys. I think we can do it. I think it, we got that victory in the bag. We got that win in the bag. <laughs> we can do it! And I have not forgotten about that Liberty City Stories playthrough. Don't worry. We'll continue that eventually. It's just, like, like I don't know. I've been really playing zombies a lot lately. Like, I've been crazy about zombies. I've just been playing it so often. Like, and it's... 
You know, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream it. Like, you know, I haven't, I haven't streamed zombies in a while. Get this damn gateway open. Okay. You know, what I think it's funny is that all the characters except Takeo and Richtofen are the only ones that care about freeing Samantha, and that's it. Like, like Richtofen and, and Takeo are the only ones that that don't give a shit. Like, they're just like, I'm not, nah, I don't care. But the other two are like, oh, oh, uh, I, I, how do you open this gateway so I can help you? <laughs> it's like, damn. Kind of shows a person they or the people they are. Shit. Okay. I want to do the wind staff upgrade. Actually, I could do that this round. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll upgrade both. Okay. One day we need to do the moon, e moon egg and see what happens first. We beat it or it, it beats it. Beats up. Pause. Oh, yeah, the moon easter egg. The moon easter egg is fucking... I, 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 oh, God, dude. Wait, the, the moon easter egg is literal... Literal, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't want to say that word. But, uh, beats us, pause. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. Also, if I say Persona 4 Gold, I'm referring to the enhanced release, re-release. And if I say Persona 4, I'm referring to the original. Oh, okay, yeah. I was, I was wondering what you meant by, uh, Golden. But, uh, the, the Easter egg on Moon is the, the most disastrous Easter egg ever. Like, it's, it's nothing but RNG. I mean, most of the zombie Easter eggs are RNG anyway. But that Easter egg is truly terrible. Okay, staff. Let's see what you can Shit. do. Okay. I did I did the uh I did the moon Easter egg with a group of friends on Black Ops 1 uh years ago. And then I did I did the Chronicles version again on uh, with a group of friends. But the the thing that makes that Easter egg so terrible is that you have to have certain weapons. And like whenever you need a certain weapon, you have to hit the box, and you can be up in the 30s, 40s, still not getting the weapon you need, and it's just it's such a pain in the ass. Like I hate it. Whatever, I don't know what it is, but I can't type for shit on this new phone. Last time I did it was on round 45, before getting the one weapon. Yeah, see that that's why I don't like Moon that much. Like Moon isn't a terrible map, but it's just I don't know. Like like it's just so RNG heavy, and then you got to get lucky with the excavators, and then you got to. It's just I hate Moon. I hate Moon League. It's, it's not a bad map, but it's... Okay. So we got that zombie blood. We got that free zombie blood. You can only get it once per round, so... We gotta make it count. And then after this, I'm gonna try to upgrade the Ice Staff. Try to get the Ice Staff upgraded. That's an easy upgrade, so... I will... Take this from you. It's like okay. camouflage. They don't see it so, so well. Let me see. I gotta go to that dig site. Oh, shit. But uh, unlike other remasters, Persona remasters actually had new stuff. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, because usually when it's just a remaster, it's just a port of the uh, previous version on uh, the, the, on the other console. It's just an excuse to have it on the new system. Go, 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 go. Fuck, go. Shit. Got it. Let's go, boys. We got it. We got another perk slot. I got And someone beat it in 19 minutes. The Moon Easter egg? Okay, that's just... That's RNG right there. Alright, so what do we need to get next? We need to get Speed Cola. Okay, so we gotta get Speed Cola. That's over at Gen 3. Yeah, we got it, boys. <laughs> Miracle, I have, I have five perks. Five of the perks. I don't know how I've survived this long. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, mama, but I did. It's like a zombie comes out and he just double swipes me. And just starts playing that game over music. It's like, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I'm gonna take that from you. Give me that speed cola. Okay. Man got this app and girls from the first two hits and pie. Dude, why? Like, he got excavator pie, too. I remember the one time me and my friends, we restarted, like, seven times. Because we couldn't get excavator pie, dude. Like, it's like, we, we spent, like, two hours trying to get pie, and we couldn't do it. We were trying to get that apple pie. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? What I said? Is it what I said? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, we were trying to get that zombie apple pie. Okay, so we got we got speed cola. And next on our list is stamina up and then double tap and then jug. So we do have to hit the wonder fizz machine again eventually after we get uh, stamina up. So how are we going to go about doing this? Let's see, okay, so I think we're going to upgrade the ice staff. To this day, I still don't know the ice staff code off the back of my hand. So yeah. Yeah, Nutty likes Poo-Tang Pies. Yeah, I really do. I, I love Poo-Tang Pies. Now, what's up, Zombie Collector? How you doing, man? Glad you could catch the stream, my guy. But uh, you remember when we did the Easter egg and I had to go to the store? Yeah, dude, I remember that, dude. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, so we were doing we were doing the Moon Easter egg. Like, th this was 
years ago, like a couple years ago. And, like, my friend Dorian, he was like, hey guys, I gotta go to the store, can you train the zombie? Dude, we trained that zombie for like an hour. And I was like, this dude, I'm like, where's this dude at? <laughs> Say take Persona 5 Royal compared to Persona 5, you get two new dungeons, a new party member, and an epilogue. That's a lot of stuff, I mean, for a remaster. It's not bad. Okay, so, I gotta look up the code for the ice staff, because I don't know it off the back of my hand. So that's why we go to Google. Hold on a sec, guys. Let me see. Damn it. I love when my phone is about to die right, in, right as I'm doing this. Ice Staff Code. You trained a zombie for an hour? Did, at least, did he at least go Super Saiyan? Nah. He just floated in, in low gravity for an hour. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have the uh, cheat sheet here on my phone. Just, hold on, guys. Damn, 2013. That was a long time ago. I want to see. Okay. So the, the upgrades for the staffs are actually very easy. Like, they're not that hard. Okay, so that one is... Shit, hold on a sec. This one. <gasps> oh god, I ran into that zombie. Hold on a sec. Okay, double L. That one. Okay. Shit, shit. If I don't read comments, guys, I apologize. I'm just trying to do this real quick. I can go smooth sailing after this. That one. Thank god I have speed cola now, because with, with speed cola, it makes this shit a lot easier. But, uh... Okay. That one. I like how she's acting like I'm doing the Easter egg. Like, S Samantha, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get these perks in rainbow order. <laughs> in reverse rainbow order, that is. I'm not even trying to do this Easter egg. So, okay, uh, then L, or I guess that's the fucking symbol. I don't know. I think it's funny how, like, these symbols are supposed to have some kind of meaning. But then people are like, like, it's like, oh, oh, like, upside down circle with line. It's like, what the fuck? Like, they just say that, like, through the mic. It's like, oh, okay. You're getting closer. Okay. So, uh, let me read these comments. So, Jesus Christ, Rob. And that's new stuff added to an already. Yeah, that's that's not bad. I mean, usually with the remasters, there's not much shit to offer. Like, it's it's just like a few touch-up with the graphics, and that's really it. But, uh, ain't World of War 16. E yeah. Isn't that crazy, dude? That game is 16 years old. And that was the first uh, Call of Duty game to have zombies. But, uh, this is the language of the goats. A lot of people write this down at school. Yeah, like, they, they just write down the symbols. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The rest of this upgrade is laughably easy. All you're doing is just freezing the, uh, the gravestones and then shooting them. And there's only three of them, so... I grab Maxis. And yeah, I'm glad we have the Golden Shovel finally, because I thought it was going to take forever. But it really didn't last that long. I mean, it was it went pretty quick. But yeah. Wasn't it like the first COD to have a third game mode? I think so, yeah. Because up until that point, COD only had campaign and multiplayer. If you guys have played the original Call of Duty, wait, we're not talking about Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Vanguard, we're talking about Call of Duty, and that's it. There was, I had that game for the PC, and believe it or not, Call of Duty, the first Call of Duty game, is the hardest Call of Duty game on veteran mode. Isn't, isn't that funny as hell? <laughs> and also, so is World at War. Okay. The only Call of Duty game I beat on veteran was... Black Ops 3, I think. Yeah, you guys want a challenge? Play World at War on Veteran. That's when that's when shit hits the fan. Okay. So I got that. Hold on a sec, guys. But, uh, ain't it uh, B to apply? Oh, the uh, Call of Duty? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the original Call of Duty. I'm not sure, though, because I, I had Call of Duty on PC. If, but if you're talking about World at War, the good thing about World at War is trophy list is that it only has campaign trophies. It doesn't have any multiplayer stuff. But uh, we had a contest in our class on who can memorize the origin staff patterns. Dude, that is actually, that's really cool. That's really cool. I am jealous of that. I'm just, you know the ice staff trick by pack? The uh, no. Actually, no, I've never. You can shoot all of them at pack. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool as hell. Yeah, there's there's a trick like that with uh, ZNS. That's Bunoshima. Where you can actually see some of the skull icons without even opening the door. And it makes life a lot easier. There we go. Ice staff complete. Now we just gotta uh, uh, get the souls and then it's fully upgraded. Yeah, your father didn't get very far. If if this, if this was... If, I, if I'm further than your dad got, he didn't get too far, Samantha. <laughs> Holy shit. World at War on Veteran is pre-rage streams in, in the nutset. Yeah. Yeah, World at War on Veteran is 
very rage inducing, especially Heart of the Reich. Oh my god, dude. I, I've never got that far on Veteran. I'm gonna say this now, guys. That game is no joke on Veteran. Like, it's 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 a hard even even the first Black Ops game on Veteran is really hard. Because it's it's like the grenade spam and it's like you got infinitely spawning enemies. And it's just it's a pain in the ass. I don't know. But uh with Persona 4, it adds new stuff, but I don't know what's new with it, aside from one character. Yeah, see, I wouldn't know that either, because I've never actually played Persona. But it sounds interesting, though. Okay, just gotta spin now these. Fire this up. Okay, make sure they're all blue. Don't get fucked up here. Okay. Okay. No, but I always make that joke, though. Whenever Samantha's like, you're so much closer than my father ever got. I'm like, yeah, your your father didn't get very far then. <laughs> but a uh, DJ on Veteran, try that, bro. Yeah, that sounds like hell. Shit. Of course, it didn't fucking kill, or not kill, but, uh... Make a crawler. Oh, nice, it just blew their heads off. That's totally what I wanted to do, game. Shit. I gotta be quick. This is a death zone, I don't want to be up here. Or down here, that is. Shit. Actually, you know what? I might have to come back. I, it's not. It's just not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. I'm getting out of here. Shit. Okay. Go, 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 go. I'm getting out of there, because that is just a place you do not want to be at. Like, especially on a high round. But a uh, Samantha just called you dad. You were closer to milk than father. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Jesus Christ. Come on, I need that double tap, baby. I need double tap. The the ice staff, like, without being upgraded, is a, is actually a piece of shit. Well, I mean, it's not... I guess it's not terrible. Like, I mean, it, 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 it slows the zombies down. I mean, I guess it's not... I mean... It, it, shit. Ah, uh, that grenade just had to blow their fucking head off. That's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted them to become crawlers. But no, Gayark had fucked me again. Shit. Okay. Not today. Yeah, I may not want to... I may want to focus on what's behind me, too. Oh, shit. Well, guys, I'm sorry. But uh, still better than the winter. Yeah, the winter's howl is... Oh, my God. You know what's funny? I think by round 20, I think it's like, it, even the upgraded version can't, it, it takes a long time to kill a single zombie with it. And it's funny because when I was a kid, I thought it was good automatically because it was a, a wonder weapon. But in actuality, the, the Winter's Howl is actually like the shittiest wonder weapon ever. But a grenade is like a dick. It has a mind of its own. Oh God. Jesus Christ. I mean, you're not wrong. That weapon is straight AIDS. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a terrible weapon. It's, it's funny, because on 5, I always take it, like, just because. And then it becomes Winter's Fury. Shit. Nope. Not today. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I don't like the looks of this. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Good. Wait, like, see, because I'm trying to get crawlers. So that way I can at least finish the Ice Staff upgrade. But then again, though... It would be nice if I get a zombie board. Because if I get a zombie board, then I can get those dig sites. Shit. Okay. Nope. Zombie behind me hit my shield. See, if I didn't have a shield, that would have ended really bad. Shit. Be careful, but, the robots are but, uh, Nutty, if you get a ball shot, Miracle has to flip the camera off. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. She said she'll do it anyways. Damn. Okay, let's see. Oh, but the zombie becomes a crawler with the ice staff. What is the logic in that? Like, there's literally no logic. You're killing it. You're almost done. Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. But then again, though, I don't want to speak too soon because then I'll fuck around. <laughs> you won't. Damn. I'm going to pause so that way my focus don't get thrown off. Come on. I like how she's just hiding <laughs> her face. There you have it, guys. Oh my god, Jesus, she flipped me off, but I'm head out for tonight, but it was a nice stream. Oh yeah, for sure, dude, I appreciate you stopping by, William. Hopefully I can see you in the next one. But it was good having you in here, dude. But uh, stay nutty, bitchies. Oh my god, bitchies? What the hell? That was a bitchy. It's like, you're a bitchy. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... We'll call this payment. Let's 
just gonna just gonna take this zombie board. Or, or no, I wish it was a fucking zombie board. I wish a zombie would drop a zombie board. That'd be great, actually. But it's almost round twenty, dude. I got wait. Come on. I mean, actually, I can get that free zombie board. Actually, I can, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna get that free zombie board from the uh, carriages that you can shoot with the staff, and then we can look for the next dig site. I don't know exactly where they are. The oh. Okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't renew every round. I guess I was wrong. A nail cut the fuck out of my face and it's itchy. Oh, damn. Damn, dude, you all right? Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. I don't have many zombies left, so... I'm gonna go ahead and finish that ice staff upgrade. <coughs> damn. I feel like I'm getting a sore throat a little bit. But it's weird, because I feel like I was choking on something earlier. But uh, blood money nice. The crypts are jealous. Oh, Jesus. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's like, I'm jealous because the crypts in the blood. It does, but you can't get get it when it rains. Oh, that explains it. Okay, I get it. I had strep throat. Damn. Jeez. Yeah, see, that's how I know whenever I'm getting sick is if I get a sore throat. That's like usually the first thing that happens to me is I'll get like a sore throat or something because it, it'll start out kind of itchy and then it gets worse and then worse and then it stops after a while. But uh, Okay, let's hit these switches. Oh, so let me get a swig of water, too. Look at the water just spilled out of my mouth. Oh, my God. It just said, whoop. It said, yeet. No. <laughs> okay. Get that. And there should be another one over here. Okay. <gasps> Damn it, I missed. Fuck. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh my god, that fucking zombie, dude. And I don't even have a shield either. Ooh. So how do you remember what switches for what? Honestly, I still don't kind of remember. It's just mostly a guessing game. But it, after a while, you kind of get used to it. But even then, still, to this very day, I can't memorize them. <laughs> I don't have a shield either. I don't have a shield, but we're going to go get one. You know, to be honest, for a first attempt at this, it's really not that bad. I was playing this map for a whole three years and I still don't remember. Dude, I've been playing this map since it came out and I still can't remember. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I got the zombie shield. And we got to go into the crazy place so we can place the shield down. Or no, the, the uh, staff down, my bad. And then, after that, we can upgrade the ice staff. And hopefully we can get a zombie blood next round. I'm going to look around on these dig sites and see if I can get something out of it. But, you know, not the crazy place. Not the crazy place. Oh, I got the golden helmet. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. That's how you get the golden helmet, boys. Oh, that just gave me a zombie. It's like, oh, you want the you you, you want that zombie blood? Well, here, have a zombie. No, I'm joking. Oh, shit. Let's say, why are you not dead? That zombie's like, nah, G, I'm coming after you. And so you put a million bullets in my face. Oh, come on, dude. Shit. Hold on. Hey, hey, Samantha, shut up, please. You talk too much. But a uh, fun fact, I might see that robot kills a zombie on Black Street that respond. Yeah, see, that is actually something I like. Because it makes doing the Easter egg a lot easier. But with BO2, it's like, if it step, if the robot step... Oh, well, that guy's having a pretty bad day. Look at him, he's like, oh! <laughs> he's like, help me out, I guess I can't take screenshots. My bad, Steam. Nah, but, uh, okay. So I'm just gonna go through the wind tunnel. But, uh, in BO2, if, a zomb if the zombie gets stepped on by the robot... Uh, it dies, but in BO3 it respawns, which is nice, because like, it, it's just annoying, because then it's like, oh, the round passed, and then you gotta fucking deal with more zombies as you're trying to do shit. Pain in the ass. My goodness. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, come on in, come join my party. No, I'm just, <laughs> come join my Xbox Live party. <laughs> oh, shit. But I gotta say, though, out of all of the Zombie Chronicles maps, Origins is the weakest. Because I just feel like they didn't do it justice. I mean, it's 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 a good remaster, I suppose. But it, like I said, there's just so many things. Like, the mud is way worse, and the, the, the Panzer is beyond broken in BO3. Like, especially the... Because like, they, they put the claw and stuff back. But it's just... Pain in the ass. I'm gonna go grab the wind staff real quick. That way I don't get killed when I'm trying to upgrade. They really didn't add anything compared to... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because... 
I don't understand people that shit on Gobblegums. I mean, obviously, you know, Gobblegums did kind of make the game a little too easy, but people were shitting on Chronicles because they're like, oh, no, no, Kino and Noct are too easy because of Gobblegums. But at the end of the day, it's like, like nobody's forcing you to use it, you know? I mean, it's like you don't have to use the go Okay. So the round passed. Nice. That's fucking great news. I love it. Amazing. And a panzer is probably gonna fucking spawn. Because I haven't seen a panzer. Shit. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that, uh... I probably shouldn't have left the crazy boys. So now I don't have a staff to protect myself. I do not have a staff to protect myself. Shit. Okay. They added to every other map, but I feel like they just, they just ported the map and took it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, I mean, it, it was okay, but it's, like, Origins is definitely the weakest one, though. The Panzer can't go into the crazy boys. Yeah, I mean, I know. I know that he can't, but it's just... I should... Because I was trying to get a staff so I can at least protect myself. What I'm trying to get, um... Shit. When, when I'm trying to get the, uh, ice staff upgraded. Because you have to get kills for it. Shit. Honestly, I should have waited until... No! Oh, no! It's over. It's over. Yeah, no. I'm not going for it. I quit. Ah, oh, I died. Damn it. I lost everything. <laughs> I lost it all, boys. It's over. I think this is where I stop. This is where I stop. Damn. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck. I tried. I died. I died. I tried though. I mean, it went it went good. I think for a first attempt, it was okay. Like it, it didn't go too bad. I think for a first attempt, I did okay. I got four of the what five of the perks. They got rid of the aluminum knife in the sentence. Oh yeah, I forgot about the aluminum knife. Yeah, that was a crazy glitch. Hmm. Well, guys, we failed. <laughs> That's not surprising. But. That was fun. I mean, it was it was a fun challenge. You know, it adds replay to the game. You know, replay value, and it was pretty fun. It was it was a fun little uh, challenge that we tried to do, but ultimately we died in the end. We failed, <laughs> but you know, we got far. I mean, what, what what how many perks did we get? We got one, two, three, four. We got five of the perks. Like we only needed three more to finish the challenge, but we tried. You know, we did it. We we did it. We did the best to our uh, best of our ability. So we tried. Uh, but, just so you guys don't have to stare at nothing, I'll just put that there. But, uh, apart from that, guys, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. Uh, this was a fun stream. You know, this is a challenge I may actually try again in the future. It was fun. I think I should maybe try the Rainbow Perk Challenge first. <laughs> maybe try that first, and then try the Reverse, because the Reverse Rainbow Perk is way harder than the standard Rainbow one. But we tried. We did it. And, uh, it feels good. You know, at least we did, at least we... Got somewhere. But uh, next week, coming from Nutty Ape Live Speed Run. Uh, yeah, no, never. Never doing the Transit Easter egg. <laughs> never doing the Transit Easter egg. But uh, yeah, apart from that, guys, uh, if there's any likes on the stream, I appreciate it. Uh, tom I, I may be live tomorrow, maybe not. But Sunday, definitely. And uh, like I said, if there's any likes, appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that came in. And uh, apart from that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit you guys on the end screen. I'll see you guys later. And I'm sorry we failed reverse rainbow perk. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs>